All right. And um, we're going to start going here. Let's go ahead and go around the group. Uh, anyone want to start? How about we start with uh, Mr. Francisco here. Who is your hunter? Okay, I am playing Don Stencil. Uh, Don is a um, psychic detective for the local police department. Uh, I'm playing the Crooked Playbook. Um, Don is a charlatan. He doesn't actually have any psychic powers. He merely has... Um, uh, almost supernatural powers of perception, but they're not supernatural at all. His, uh, his dad is a cop and just taught him to be hyper vigilant, uh, vigilant, 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 hyper vigilant, and uh, taught him how to put clues together and essentially be um, uh, just a good detective in hopes that he also would join the force. But Don is a bit of a. Um, of a rebel and a will not ascribe to any system whatsoever. Um, and um, he has friends on the force uh, from working at the local police department as a private contractor. Um, and he has a magical artifact which grants grant him luck. It is a pineapple which he carries <laughs> <laughs> which he carries with him um on on you know anytime there's any sort of case that he's working on uh just in case uh he issues using uh guns or weapons of any sort but he does have a pew pew tiny 22 revolver a machete and a baseball bat and he will resort to the baseball bat if he has to fight, although he is a runner, not a fighter. Um, he is uh, wanted by a um, detective uh, named uh, Det Detective Lazarus, who is onto him, although he can't prove that he's a charlatan. He is doggone sure that Stencil is not the psychic he claims to be. Um, he is also, uh, also has a recurring villain in his story arc named Yang. Uh, it's a serial killer that he put behind bars, but Yang, even though uh, she isn't in jail, manages to uh, still pull strings to get Don into trouble. And uh, he also has someone with special powers named Olivia Anastasia del Negro Calderon, <laughs> who is a monster who hired him for a previous job and fell in love with him. Um, but uh, Don's heart belongs to someone else. And she is a were spider who is immortal and a thousand years old and a seductress from Mexico. Um, yeah. Here's my one and only question, though. Just the one? <laughs> yeah, just the one. Um, does your character have a Spanish episode where you found out that James Roday actually is Hispanic? <laughs> <laughs> it actually wasn't just the one episode. It was a two-episode arc. I had to have it to be continued there. In the middle. <laughs> All right, let's move on to uh, Sierra. Oh, goodness. Um, wow, that was super detailed. Uh, I don't think I've got all that, but Sierra is a professional. Um, she hunts uh, monsters for a living. It pays the bills, you know. Um, so what happens when you don't get a college degree, you have to be a monster hunter. So here we are. Uh, let's see. I think I checked some interesting things back here. Uh, what happened? Oh, uh, yeah, her agency is very secretive. She doesn't really know. She gets missions from 
someone but doesn't really even know who that like where that person is in the in the hierarchy of things right um, and the missions don't always have clear clear goals so she just has to kind of wing it uh, as she goes but luckily she's got a trunk full of awesome gear just like these guys um, and also they she has a good network so she's able to get good intel on on things going on yeah that's pretty much all i got she's she's all business you know what i mean like so okay yeah does the uh organization she worked for have a name it probably does but they don't tell her who does uh, she have a normal contact that she gets contacted, but is she just out of the out of out of the blue? So kind of out of the well, it's like a in a shadowy. It's always in some shadowy place, right? You can't really only see a silhouette of who this person is. It may or may not be the same person each time. Okay. How does she get paid? So Bitcoin. <laughs> All right. Okay, let's move on to Beatrix. Okie dokie. So uh, Beatrix, she goes by Trix because she doesn't like hearing her name for a reason. Uh, she has dark eyes and she wears nerdy clothing. Uh, she has guilt because she killed her dad when she was younger, which is why she doesn't like hearing her name because her dad is the one who gave her the name. So yeah. So because of that, she has mood swings and hallucinations of back from the night of when she killed her dad. Uh, she carries a nine millimeter gun for the heck of it and a big knife. Yeah. <laughs> now, how old was she when she... Uh... She was 12. 12. Okay. It was around the age of puberty, so like her emotions were kind of wonky, and like it was an argument that was happening, and then she just kind of, she popped a fuse. How often does it, does she still pop her fuse? She has gotten better at handling it, but uh, certain situations, like people yelling at her or just being stressed out, will trigger it in a heartbeat. And she starts having the hallucinations. And right after hallucinations, it kind of is an escalating issue of that she may most likely pop her fuse. Okay. What's your playbook, Brianna? Spooky. The spooky. And last but not least, and not to show my bias, of course, the, my favorite, the mundane, <laughs> Riley. Monday. Alrighty, so my name is Riley Buster. I'm a young woman and um, I'm just very plain Jane, very matter of fact kind of person. Um, I grew up in a normal life, um, normal family, normal, you know, went to high school, went to college, had a job, but it got really boring. And I'm actually childhood friends with Dawn. And so we decided to open up our own little like side detective business. And so um, I'm also a little bit of a skeptic. Um, I don't fully believe monsters are a thing. So I'm always trying to figure out like who is the one that's um, kind of controlling all this nonsense that is going on. <laughs> <laughs> it was old man Johnson the whole time. Old man Johnson. <laughs> now, you believe uh, you're a skeptic and you believe something's behind it. Do you believe in conspiracy theories of a higher sometimes. of a higher order? Okay. Yeah, sometimes. Okay. All right. So now that we've introduced everybody, um, let's go ahead and, and go around and just kind of build our histories with each other. Um, we're going to start with you, Riley. Uh, now you're already, you are childhood friends with Don. 
a little bit. Uh, so if you want to kind of go through your, that, the histories, everyone has a different history, uh, different connections. Um, in this case, I'm just going to read from the chosen playbook here. The first one here is you choose somebody else in the group. You are close blood relations. Ask them exactly how they, how close you are. So you choose that one. The other person chooses for you. Um, so, but someone else may not have that exact same one. Um, but everyone's going to have similar, but just, you know, slightly different ones, essentially. Um, but this is also you, if you think of something that just kind of freeforms comes to you, do it. That's fine. This is a conversation, essentially. In the meantime, I'm going to be writing things down, um, things that will pop in my head. I may end up using it. I may not. It's just more of a story points for me. So, uh, Riley, go ahead and you start for me. Perfect. So, like I said, uh, wait, we, we're doing one for each person? Yeah, for now. We'll, we'll, go, we'll go with one person for now, and then we'll just kind of go around the table. If, if it just kind of naturally starts flowing, I just keep going and going. I, I'm going to take a step back for essentially for a sec. Okay. Yep. So, like I said, um, I know Don. We grew up together, um, went to, like, the same elementary and high school. Um, we did not go to the same college. Um, I'll let him tell you a little bit more about that, but I decided mm -hmm. I wanted, um, a degree as kind of a fallback plan, just kind of live my normal, normal life and route. And, um, like I said, I had a regular job and just got kind of tired of it. And so we decided mm -hmm. to team up and, uh, do what we think that we do best. Dom, what were you doing, uh, while she went to college? What did you do? Well, I had not yet um, sort of like broke free of my father's influential yoke over me of sorts. And so at the time I found that the only way to rebel uh, was to go to a black college. Um, and my character is very <laughs> Caucasian. Um, but he researched if he could enter the force with an African-American history degree. And <laughs> I'm so happy you're laughing. And um, he was most definitely the most out of place visually, but Dawn just has a certain je ne sais quoi and so made a lot of friends despite being different. Um, and if it's okay with you, Buster, you know, Buster was sort of on the, on the other end of that. And, um, they went to a more traditional, the more traditional route, whereas of course Don has to be a rebel in every, every sense of the, of the word. Um, however, he only lasted two semesters in college <laughs> and averaged a 0, 0.00 GPA. But so made a lot of friends. Even, so he didn't even go to class essentially. Yeah, it said, well, he made to class. He made he went to class to make friends. Um, a stranger is just a friend he has not yet met. So. Exactly, exactly. And so, um, as, so, so you, as so you, part, so he went to all the trouble of getting into a school that he probably shouldn't have gone to to just not do the work. Correct. Okay. <laughs> Correct. I see. But made a lot of friends. And <laughs> but so made a lot of friends previous, along the way. <laughs> in previous episodes, um, Don, even though he is very Caucasian, um, uh, he, in previous episodes, always seems to run into people that maybe would be like, he wouldn't have like traditional relationships with. And people are like, how do you know this person on this side of town? This seems a bit odd. But such is the way it talks. He's my mother's brother's, you know, sister's brother, you know. I That's know from back that, then. Exactly, yeah. He is my brother, and people are, like, not sure what sort of context is behind the word brother. And then there's some sort of secret handshake, and then they break away. <laughs> so. I see. Hey, Beatrix, uh, what about you? Oh, I'm sorry, go ahead. No, you're fine. I was just saying, just, this pattern has not changed much throughout our... Um, <laughs> times together this is very much how our organization goes as well okay yeah in addition to that uh uh buster is the the voice of reason in our business and without surprise i am the risk taker and buster is the one that sort of you know i am i am the kite to buster string essentially. 
So. Okay. Um, my connection is actually with Dawn, but Dawn is unaware of this because I used my powers of telepathy to figure out what the heck Dawn was doing. Because like he said, like, oh, I'm super like into the supernatural. And I was like, that's a load of BS. So I used my powers to figure out if he was lying or not. Realized he was 100% lying, but I haven't told anybody because I just like to see his charade and how it unfolds. So when, like he's doing stuff in the background. I'm just like, yeah, okay. <laughs> Your powers, okay. When did you first encounter Don? Um, I encountered Don. I was like at an area while Don and Riley were doing like one of their jobs. And that's when I saw Don like doing his work. And I was like, yeah, this seems totally false. All of the wrong things. So when I was seeing them, I decided to use my powers and I was like, wow, that's not true at all. But I became interested. So I've kept watch of their job from like looking at the news because I'm pretty sure they'll come up on the news frequently of being helpers of the police and just watching what unfolds with them. Okay. What about you, Sierra? <laughs> Hey there, mute button. Wow, Sierra, let's see. You know what? Sierra has been uh, assigned to keep an eye on tricks. The agency is aware of what kind of trouble she gets into and might come a time when somebody's got to put her down. So, so right now you're just uh, on recon. How are you doing recon right yeah. now? Are you doing uh, just following tricks around? Are you integrating yourself with the group? Yeah, I'm being like super friendly, you know, uh, but not too friendly. Just friendly enough. Um, Riley and Don, since it's your business, how are you, how do you guys know Sierra? When did Sierra come into your life? Um, Sierra, uh, with your permit, uh, permission, David, um, I think it would be cool if Sierra, what, if Sierra and Don were family members and we played off maybe on like, you are, uh, following in the footsteps of like a family of police officers and private investigators and FBI agents and that sort of thing. And I'm, I'm the black sheep. And so we can have that going on. Yeah, sounds good. Cool. You uh, extended family, direct family, immediate? Um, I would love to be, Sierra is a woman's name. Yeah. Okay, cool. I would love, I would love to be brother and sister. I think it'd be really neat. If you're down with yeah, that, I'm down yeah. with that. Okay, cool. And how do you uh, how do you see your relationship there, Sierra, with your brother Don? Oh, wow. <laughs> I mean, first of all, you know, he didn't really didn't follow the family business and and. Uh, kind of a, an authority sort of position. Like he could have at least been a fireman or something. <laughs> then a GPA of 0, 0. .0 like, just take a dump right on our grandpa's grave there. I mean, wow. Um, you know, but I got to keep an eye on him and maybe I can, you know what? Maybe I can straighten him out. So... So, so here's a question. Uh, who's the older? Who's the, who's the younger? Oh, uh, I would love to be like that little brother archetype. Yeah. He's yeah. Younger. You know what? The thing is, Sierra feels almost responsible. She left <clears throat> home a little early. And if she only, she always thinks like, if I only stayed home, this wouldn't have happened. You know, he would have, he would have been on the 
Okay. Um, what do you think about um, what do you think about Riley? Riley, what are your thoughts about Sierra? You obviously known Sierra, you know, from years ago as well. Yeah, um, Sierra was always kind of the one to like. Uh, Sierra, ferocious guard dog. Um, Sierra always tried to keep us in check. Uh, like everybody was the, it was the neighborhood mom. Um, yeah, she just always wanted like everything her way, the right way, like how it should be. Never really had a whole lot of fun. So. All right. Yeah, like I think she always wanted the best, but like that's just how it always kind of came off for us. Okay. Following the rules is fun, okay? So you're one of those. So, so Sierra, how did you get involved with the agency? Since you, so you're, since you're such a rules follower, this is obviously even with monsters, there, there's a certain sense of order. Yeah, you know, um, it was a special opportunity as I was training. To join the, the show is one of the best. Uh, you know, someone approached me and, and uh, you know, they reached out, said I had something special. And of course, I knew I did. So, and of course, the checks don't say US government or nothing on them, but probably, I'm sure it's a government thing, you know. They always like to use Bitcoin. So. Hey, you do what you gotta do. <laughs> So um, to add to that, Don is, um, of course, little brother, tr likes to annoy Sierra, etc. But Sierra is actually really good at being tight-lipped about her job. And even though Don is a professional information finder, he has not been able to crack the Sierra code. And much to his chagrin. Okay, uh, Beatrix, or Trix. Um, Sierra, you know, it's, I guess, I'm, I'm assuming maybe has just recently come back into Don's life, maybe, and you notice this. Obviously, you're able to see through some of the crap that Don does. Do you see, what do you see about Sierra? I've seen into, like, his memories about her, because, like, anytime she's in the vicinity, you kind of, like, see his demeanor change, because he's like, oh, crap, my older sister's here. She's most likely going to hound me on something. So I've learned that enough about them, so I know that they're related, <laughs> and I know that their relationship ain't the best, but it's a relationship. I haven't figured out that she's trailing me, though, because I haven't really thought of, like, I just thought of her as his sister, so I was like, there's nothing really to think about of this person. I don't know her job, just like Don doesn't know her job. So I just know they're related. I know Don's a liar. <laughs> I know Riley is like, he's very, or Riley's a girl, right? Yeah. Okay. Riley's very like, I don't want to be here, but I am here to help my friend type of situation. Okay. All right, that's fantastic. There's definitely a lot here that I will use against you. <laughs> that's just right there. That's just right. Yeah. All right. So I think we're good. Uh, good enough in the history there, and we can always build some more. Um, hold on, I just got a message from. from my wife. She's playing in Brent's game <laughs> in another room. Um, so let's go on. Uh, there's a, the Hunter agenda. I uh, just want to go over there, go over it a little, just uh, real quickly. Um, and it's just a, just a quick four tip there at you are the hero of the story. Um, act like it because you are the hero. Um, you make your own destiny. 
So if you want to, however you want to play this, you tell me how you want to play this. If you want to do something, tell me how you want to do it and I'll tell you what to roll. Um, you, the hunter is a real person. That's why I had you change the name of your character because I won't be referring to you as your, as your actual names. You are now Riley Buster. You are now Sierra. You are now Don Stencil. You are now Trix. That's how I will be referring to you because you are the hunter. You are who you are. And I, like I said earlier on, I want you to lean into your characters. Be as spontaneous, be as boisterous, be as serious, be as however, just, uh, well, how does it put it in that happy feet? Be spontaneous <laughs> as you want it to be. Um, I, I, I very much um, reward, uh, you, know, you know, creativity. Uh, with plus ones and things of that nature, especially when it comes to being extremely cheesy. I'm a very cheesy person. Um, and if you can make me laugh like a, nobody's business, I definitely reward that. Um, going down through the basic moves, uh, you have kick some ass. Uh, this is anytime you want to attack something and it's you know one to one, you, you roll tough on your sheet. Anything up plus seven, you you and whatever you're fighting, you inflict harm on each other at the same time. So if you're fighting one on one, it's not like D and D where it's you know one person takes a hit and it goes around the and then you know around the merry-go-round and comes back around. It's at the same time. Now if you get a plus ten, then you get to have a couple extra effects. If it's twelve, then you don't take any harm at all. Act under pressure is kind of a catch-all. Um, cars barreling down the street. That's I'm just going to ask you to act under pressure, see if you dodged out of the way. Uh, help out is what it sounds like. You're helping out another hunter, helping out maybe a bystander. You roll a cool on that one. When you're investigating a mystery, this is for when the, things are pretty calm. You have, you have time to actually take a look around. Uh, and you roll your sharp on that. When you roll on a 10 and above, you uh, get the hold too is what it says. Holding essentially is kind of like, imagine having like, like poker chips in your hand. Essentially, you get to call in the chip and ask one of those questions. Anything above a 12, you get to ask me whatever you want about the, about the uh, mystery. Now, my job is to basically tell you the truth. May not be the complete truth about everything, but I'm going to steer you in there. My job is to help the hunters get to the end. I'm not going to ever lie to you about these kind of questions. I may leave some things out because well what's the point of me telling you everything right up front <laughs> it's the story we want to unfold it uh, manipulate someone is a charm move uh, when you're using it on a normal person it essentially it's going there you can use it on another hunter uh it's i it's never really come up for me <laughs> to be perfectly honest um protect someone uh, again if you want to it, this can be reactionary as well so say sierra gets hit by something and it it can get pretty, pretty nasty. Riley, you are right there. Um, and you go, Oh, I just want to protect someone. You can also roll it, get a seven plus. You could protect them as well and take that harm for them. Read a bad situation is when you know reading it's like investigative mystery, but you don't have that time to actually investigate it. And then you can ask the questions. And I may randomly ask you, um, may ask you to do that. It might be because you're walking into a bad situation. Um, use magic. And this is one of the things that's kind of special for me in Monster of the Week is everybody can use magic in the world. Just some people are better at it. Um, and you'll probably notice this on your sheets. You have either, uh, if you have a higher magic stat, you're going to be probably better at magic. Doesn't necessarily mean you're going to succeed, <laughs> but you're going to be better at it. Um, you roll the weird. Uh, anything at 12 plus, you're going to get extra benefits. If it's seven or nine, it's going to be a little bit iffy, but there are effects and glitches on there. Uh, anything that's pretty big stuff, like trying to resurrect someone, that's big magic. It's ritual magic. Um, so it's not just rolling. There, I'm going to give you some requirements. I may ask you what those requirements are. I'm going to you know, test your creative juices on the, in this game as well. Um, again, harm. It kind of will vary. Again, you're all can only take seven harm. So it's kind of one of those things. When you go to kick some ass, um, yeah, you take damage, you know, all at the same time. So, you know, long range damage, you don't take damage at the same time because they're far away. Keep that in mind. Uh, recovery is just if you get healed by something, you get healed. 
If you go to the hospital and stay overnight, well, doctors are going to heal you up. You are also the best of the best. So yeah, sometimes you are a little bit better at healing than others. Luck we've already gone through. Leveling up again is at all at the same time. Um, as soon as you hit that fifth level of luck, uh, sorry, experience, let me know and I'll spotlight out and we'll let, I'll let you take a look at your playbook. All right. Any questions so far? Okay. Can I um, add something about Dawn's relationship with magic? Yeah. Um, Dawn is a bit like the Mandalorian in that the Mandalorian is consistently around droids and is, they're, they're a part of his life, but still distrusts him and dislikes him. Dawn feels the same way about magic and has been forced in previous episodes to use it, but does not like it. And, okay. Uh, will not use it himself, even though he's around it all the time. Okay, fantastic. All right, this will be great. <laughs> okay. We are going to go ahead and start. Where are, where is your, uh, what is your agency called, by the way, your business, Riley and Don? Uh, I feel like we should play off on the name Buster, like something Busters. Don and Busters, and you're currently Don and yes. Busters. <laughs> Don and Busters, That's and you're so currently good. in a lawsuit for a cease and desist. Um, which is like we're always in some sort of lawsuit because reasons. Because he takes care of all of that. No, by takes care of, I mean he does it and then tells me. Okay. Yeah. And Sierra and, and Trix, are you there just kind of hanging out in Don and Busters? Yes. This is more reluctantly and just I really like to see how it turns out because I just know it's all a farce. So I'm like, this has to be something good. So I like to watch what's going on. You're just, just constantly sitting back and just like, oh God, this is just fantastic popcorn. Yes. <laughs> like this is the best movie that I don't have to pay for. Like, how can you believe the crap coming out of his mouth? Oh, my God. <laughs> yes, that's exactly what it is. I'm just like, wow, this is fantastically a lie. <laughs> what, what are you guys doing? Is it just like that, you know, total noir? You, everyone's sitting around and it's the sepia colored and <laughs> feet, you know, feet up on the table. Um, I am trying to teach... Uh, tricks uh, how to play um, something esoteric like Ch maybe Chinese checkers or something something esoteric yeah um, uh, also I see tricks as being like uh, Don and Buster's like number one supernatural contact um, like the person that we go to, since Don and Busters has just recently broken into like this, the supernatural investigative world. Um, Beatrix is, is our connection sort of, you know, with the, with the supernatural. Okay. So, so um, I, see, I see myself, um, uh, Don is, is with uh, Trix sitting down playing Chinese checkers and maybe having some sort of Seinfeld type of like just mundane argument, but something about the supernatural is like how the chupacabra is non sentient. <laughs> While Trix is trying to convince me that the chupacabra is actually like a very nice guy whom she knows and she meets at the convention every year, whether that's true or not, you know. Sarah, what are you doing? Don and Buster's. I can't believe. <laughs> Are you kidding? <laughs> wow. Look at this place. It's a mess. How can you do business in here? How's someone supposed to take you seriously? It's controlled and organized chaos. You know what, Riley? You're not any help. 
It's true. I mean, just look at all the work that we've gotten. And uh, Don leans over and opens up a cabinet door and like bats literally fly out of it. <laughs> <laughs> and I give a girly scream. Uh, yeah. Wow. And then as, as you, as the bats are just flying everywhere and you hear the, ah! you know, the front door has that little ting, ting, ting bell comes in and then this, this gentleman in a, in a very black suit, black shirt, black tie, and a, you know, black glasses, black everything just kind of walks in and uh, asks, asked if uh, Sierra is here. We all point immediately to Sierra. Wow. <laughs> <laughs> yes, I'm here. Um, so this is not someone that you've see, ever seen before. That this is, especially considering all the people you've ever seen, like you've never seen, they were always in the shadow. This is a person that's just kind of looks off the street. What do you do? I better kind of glance to see where, what cover I'm going to take when this goes poorly. And kind of move my hand close, close this so I can pull out my uh, trusty weapon here. Okay. How can I help you? Uh, they they kind of dive their hand into their, you know, jacket pocket and pull out a black business card. Okay. And on it, it just says, Charles Tiggs. I have a job for you. Okay. Uh, does this person seem to be affluent at all? Yeah, when, you, uh, when you look at his clothes, they're extremely, like, well-made. Very tailored. Like, shiniest shoes, as you can see. Um, like Don, you're you're you've seen people that like have like even really really nice clothes. This is like primo, like probably the nicest you've ever seen. Okay. And the name was Charles. Charles Tiggs, T I G G S. And this is the person they represent. It on the on the card. It's just a straight black card it just has like a in the silver silver you know print that just says charles tiggs okay. i have a job for you sierra okay how can i help you there's a gentleman down in our argentina that i need taken care of one way or another but i need him taken out of whatever he's doing. He's interfering with the natural order of things. Okay. Okay. That sounds like my kind of, kind of gig. That's why I came to you. Yeah. Give me whatever information you can and we'll make uh, some arrangements. Okay. And he hands you just a manila folder doesn't seem it's not very uh not very full it just seems like it might be just have a couple pieces of paper in there um uh the offer's inside and uh i'll, I'll stay in contact with you and he turns right around walks out ding, ding, ding. <laughs> wow see what at, happens at point, when i dress nice <laughs> Um, at this point, I what I picture in my head is uh, maybe Sierra, uh, you know, opening a door and sort of Don sort of like stumbling out because he was, you know, maybe listening with with a glass or something. <laughs> oh, door. you were all. I think you, you were all in the room. I mean, I, I don't oh, see okay. any reason you were unless you all decided to leave. Yeah, you know, leave leave the two alone. Okay. But uh, I wanted no. to hear it. This, yeah, it seemed interesting. I was like, this dude's wearing all black. Yeah, he did. He he wasn't very secretive about what he was doing. He didn't seem like he wanted everyone to leave. So, okay. I feel like we all just like stare at Sierra, just like <laughs> so. You gonna tell us gonna... about <laughs> what this man is doing and why was he here and why was he well dressed? Oh, you, oh, you think you're coming? <laughs> <laughs> 
That's true. I don't think I, I know that see I don't think Sierra knows about my problems, about what I can do. Don't so the only people who do know is just Don and Riley. Well everybody else. Sierra is, knows but doesn't let me know that she knows. I know you know that you don't know that I know. <laughs> but do you know that I know that you know that I know? Exactly. <laughs> That's the thing that everyone needs to know. You know what? You should come because you people need to see how business is handled. <laughs> That's not terrifying. <laughs> um, Robert, Dawn has uh, immediately jumped on Google. Okay. And I don't know if this triggers investigative mystery, but he is just looking for weird news in Argentina. Okay. Uh, yeah, go ahead and roll investigative mystery for me. All right, cool. All right. <laughs> um, I rolled a... <laughs> I rolled a five total. So when you look up a... Uh, you, you look up on the internet... Uh, uh, issues oh in in Argentina. <laughs> um, you you yell out in surprise, and you say, "Did you guys know that there's this woman named Ava in Argentina? There's some kind of weird rebellion." <laughs> Everyone gives you this like, just this like shaking, <sighs> and just walks away. 0.0 GPA. That's just you didn't you didn't take your library scientist class. You don't know how to Google like nothing. Like and then really you kind of look at you kind of look at the screen you go, she kind of looks like Madonna. <laughs> I uh, I referred to my GPA on the reg as absolute zero. Yeah. Like or Kel cool Kelvin as cucumber. degrees. Yep. Oh, I got my Kelvin degree. Your Kelvin degree. <laughs> yeah. Because <laughs> my GPA is absolute zero. Yep. So, Sierra, what are you going to do? Yeah. Well, I better, you know, I'm not going to leave it up to this guy in his world of grand theft auto, whatever he's doing over there. So, I'm going to just, I'm just pull, pulling out the paperwork and seeing what I've got. Okay. Uh, inside the paper, you should see just one page. Um, it's got a picture in it um, of a man, and I'm going to try to pull this up quickly. Of this man. Okay, yeah. I'm already on board with this taking the guy out thing. <laughs> wow. <laughs> on the back. It just shows his name as Jonah Valentino. The location is um, on the southern tip of Argentina. And it says just some basic information about the cult of Chavin. How do you spell Chavin? C H A V I N. And when you shake. When you shake the vanilla folder some more, uh, a black card, a black Amex card comes out. Nice. Nice. This guy um, really, really likes, likes uh, a certain color scheme, if you can tell. Um, I don't know if like we can do fast forwards, but I figure the, uh, the episode ending with an epilogue of like a bunch of things from Amazon having arrived at the door of Dun and Buster's. It is, the the card is, uh, it does have a, a name on there. It says Sierra Stencil, yes. So. Awesome. If that's, if that's one way that we can end things, that's, that's what I'm trying to remember. We'll, we'll see, we'll, we'll see how it ends. You, you, might, you might end up be dead at the end of it, who knows? That's true. <laughs> and, and the kayak I just ordered from Amazon We'll have no owner. And that would be super sad. It's true. <laughs> All right. So, what do you do? Well, we better get some uh, book some tickets down to Argentina. Okay. 
I asked Trix if um, she has heard of the Cult of Shaven at all, and or Joan of Valentino, since I, she is our, our expert. I have heard of Stoop. the Cult of Chavin, but like just in passing, like people say, th- well, they don't say things. I read their minds because I ain't about to talk to people about uh, what's going on. So I've heard about it, but not like well enough to know the extent of what it actually is. Gotcha. A better question should be, I asked Trix, what about the Cult of Chavez? Does she know? It's okay. not cool. <laughs> what, just because it's a cult, it's not cool? That's just that, rude. That is exactly what I, like, I heard cult and I was like, wow, not cool. Don't know nothing about this cult, but I know it's not cool. Because when people talk about it or think about it, it's usually like has a fear type of like emotion behind it so i know this can't be a good cult so it has to be a bad cult (laughs) and that's to the extent of what i know about like the cult of chavin the name jonah though i don't i don't know much about him okay don don will uh will say you know the thing about a cult is you don't know you're in one until the very last day and he'll he'll uh, he'll have a flashback about uh, the time he accidentally started a cult and was nominated cult leader from a previous episode. So, well, now <laughs> completely accidental and just an absolute misunderstanding. All right, <laughs> misunderstanding, total misunderstanding. How was I right. supposed to know it was an East Secret Hour that they revered? I didn't know. <laughs> All right, so uh, Sierra, are you gonna leave everyone behind? Are you are everyone gonna come along when, with you? Take us, take us. So that's this is gonna be a short episode. Everybody get left here. So <laughs> be a short episode. the power of plot combined. Yeah. <laughs> no, they gotta come. I gotta show them how it's done. It's true. It's true. And I'm going to secretly order a cleaning service. I'm while you're gone? While we're gone. <laughs> okay. Now, in your profession, when you say cleaning service, do you mean like an actual cleaning service? Or is someone, are you going to make a body disappear? <laughs> um, there probably are bodies in here, so I'll probably need to hire both. You're right. You're right. It's not an either or. Yeah. There, um, there, there are bats. There are definitely, yeah, hire an exterminator while you're at it, please. Um, uh, what city is Don and Buster's located in? You tell me. I picture sunny Miami or sunny San Diego. I think given the fact that all of us are minorities, Sunny Miami <laughs> is probably very fitting. Cool. All right. So you guys take off from Miami Airport, heading towards Argentina. Um, along the way, you guys do do some. Uh, you because you got the black Amex card, um, you took you know first class, first class seats. Uh, which means you got really good internet along the way. So you do know a little bit more about what you're heading into. Uh, there isn't a lot of talk about what the cult of Chauvin is. Uh, you do, it does sound like it's a bad thing in the States, but the people who are talking about it on the internet uh, say that it's, it's a resurrection of, of an ancient culture from Argentina. Um, down in the... Oh, I was like, who's putting on mood music? <laughs> um, and being led by this Jonah. Um, and he's an old archaeologist who discovered discovered a uh, old culture, very artistic. Um, he's decided to bring it back. Uh, he decided to do that on three islands on the tip of tip of Argentina and Chile. Uh, the islands of Picton, Lenox, and Nueva. So that will be where you would need to head. Which requires, you know, a mule cart to get to kind of thing. Uh, is there now a montage of... 
Oh, like totally. Slanted, We're going to totally yeah. get a montage where it's like awesome. bumping roads and back, you know, the horses and things of that nature. When you get to finally one of the, the ports that are down there near, uh, near these islands, you do see the islands and uh, you see one, one giant island. It's just basically across the channel, right? Um, you do see a, a, a seaplane that could have brought you here, but decide for whatever reason, Don, you decided that you wanted to take the roads. I don't know why. Sierra. Oh. Yeah. You said there was no plane available. No, I didn't say there was no plane available. I said that, you know, that you would probably have to take well, a, a mule cart. I'm blaming Don. It's the scenic route. Yeah. Uh, there's Don no airport. Did. There's no airport. There's no, there's no, yeah, yeah. yeah. But of course, I'm. I'm not gonna let Sierra know that. I. It's like, why, why don't you like Paco the Mule? Like, what is your problem? You know, it's, this is the scenic route. All the while, Don is shivering because, being a native Miamian, he is ill prepared for being this close to the South Pole. Yep, uh, it is pretty cold. Um, but you know, it's still it's still relatively you know temperate. It's fine, but it is kind of cold. Um, but you do get to uh, the port to get you over there. So what do you do? Got to hire, got to hire a boat, right? Yeah, you just kind of. Yeah. So um, are, are, have we montaged and essentially, you know, taking a mule to taking the boat to taking, and we have, arrived at this you've arrived at, the, at, at a port you haven't gotten to the to any of the islands yet but you are at the port to get over there yeah i see um i stop the or or what what is a local that i can speak to there's a couple of locals there it's just it is just a seaport that seems to um seems specifically designed to provide something to at least one of the islands that it keeps going back and forth to um, okay. It seems like it's a ferry. Okay. I ask one of the locals, Amigo, ¿cuál es la isla con los pingüinos? I, I mean, ask, what is, <laughs> what is the most penguin infested island? If <laughs> any. Uh, the, the person who is, seems like the most native to you just kind of looks at you and just gives you a shake of the head and walks away. There is a gentleman that comes up behind you and says, and taps you on the shoulder. Um, they're, they're actually not. We've actually, we've had to relocate the penguins. Um, I look sad and asked about uh, the cult of Shaolin. Oh, are you here for, are you here visiting or are you, are you wanting to join? I'm here for the festival, actually. Oh, every night is a festival. Isn't that so? I agree. Um, I'm a guest of honor. Who, who are you? I am Benicio de la Sangre Rodriguez Chiquita Banana. Ah. <laughs> and these are my associates, peanut butter and jelly. I I cannot myself believe as jelly. I just I'm just going with it. I'm like yes. You're just I going with jelly. it. You're just going with yes. it. Sierra, what are you doing? You're look, watching your brother just. <sighs> <laughs> yeah. Um, I said this is too many cocktails on the mule. Huh. <laughs> Little too many cocktails on the mule ride down here. Indeed. We're just looking for a ride over uh, over to the islands here. You're part of the cult. Well, we don't really call ourselves that. We're the we're you know we're we're the neo chauvinists. Well, aren't we all? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I kind of um, want to cut cut to the chase of this, so I'm going to shake his hand and just get a little telepathic reading on him just to figure out what type of BS is this man telling us? This can't be real. This can't. He seems far too polite. 
to be a part of this cult and it's a little bit disturbing <laughs> and i'm just kind of tired of seeing dawn just screw it up <laughs> so so read me your telepathy real quick what does it say telepathy you can read people's thoughts and put words in their mind this can allow you to investigate a mystery or read a bad situation without needing to actually talk you can also manipulate someone without speaking. You still roll moves as normal, except people who will not expect the weirdness of your mental communication. Okay, so go ahead and roll me, roll me a mystery, uh, investigate a mystery for me. So roll me a two d six plus your investigative mystery roll. Okay, dokie. Oh, good. I rolled a seven with plus one, so I rolled an eight. Okay, so go ahead. What what is it you? You're just trying to kind of skim skim the mind. And yeah, just I'm of... trying to skim what he's like. Take out the large amount of crap that I know he's spewing, and just get to the nitty of what he's trying to. So what you're seeing, what you're seeing uh, on the skimming off of his mind is that he's he believes the crap he's saying. Oh, that's not. Good. He is very <laughs> he is very much like the 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 Earth King Earth King you know invites you to Lake Lao guy. Oh, You're not so seeing anything else other than like that. totally loves and believes everything he is saying. He has bought the proverbial Kool-Aid. Yeah. Right. Flavor aid, flavor aid. He couldn't flavor he couldn't spring for the Kool-Aid. That's what they call it in Argentina, anyway. It's flavorada. Yep. Yeah, well, so that's... you you just you just feel this fluffy like, hey, hi, my name is Josh. <laughs> Feel from him. Oh, is in fact, I'm going to name him Josh. Is... His name is Josh. Josh. Hi, Josh. <laughs> I'm I'm Josh. Is he an American that has relocated for the cult? Like, does he, or does he look like he would be from South America? Um, he's a, he's the Amer Yeah, he's an American. He's just like this. Oh, really, he's cool. got like long blonde not man bun but it's just kind of gathered up in the back um his clothes <coughs> look like it was nice but it's you know it's not washed every kind of day so it's kind of dingy but he's on this side it seems like he's kind of just doing dock work essentially um i don will want to well i'll let someone else go so good. No, Beatrix, what do you uh, what do you do? Oh, I quickly removed my hand from him after I like went to shake his hand because that was disturbing. I just like you said, I felt like this weird like calm feeling, and I did not like it because that was weird. So I kind of look at Riley because that's the only one I trust out of the four of us because Sierra is very peculiar, and Don is just a load of crap. So I don't. <laughs> I was telling him anything. <laughs> so I look at Riley and I pull her away. I'm like, yo, this doesn't seem, it doesn't seem good. It seems very, the cult that we've read about online, everybody's like, it's good. It ain't good. This dude seems like he's been majorly brainwashed. Okay. Well, in the meantime, Josh is kind of just like staring at you, Don, just kind of waiting for your next question. I do have one. I'll let Riley and or Sierra, you know, do what they want to do first. Right now, I'm just taking notes on what y'all doing because I need to give you some feedback when we do a coaching later. Yeah, so I will look um, after talking to or hearing from Trex. I'll look at Sierra and Sierra's just writing stuff down a um, little bit, a little bit tipsy over there and just off in their own little world. So um, I will talk to Josh and just be like, so how long have you been a part of this? Like, what are you liking? Um, what drew you to this? Just kind of tell me a little bit about it. Oh, I've been here six months now. Oh, I came down here. Oh, yeah, it was about six months. I just, it's, it's been wonderful. Like every, every, every night is just a wonderful experience and trying to create a new world is just when every day you wake up and you're expected to just create it's it's 
how can you not live to wake up the next day? So it just kind of drew you in, like create a new world that just kind of, that's something that you want in. Yeah. So like, what's, what's the ideal world that you're trying to create? Like, is it the perfect world? Is it just, well, I mean, everybody or how does it, Jonah, know? Jonah teaches that, you know, the, the, the old culture, the Chauvins, the Chauvins, like they had a, a pretty perfect culture where it was very sensual. Everything was about an experience and, you know, and it, they were artists and people of the earth and, and just were trying to get back to that, you know, get away from all the, all the, all the noise of the world. And that's what we're trying to recreate here. That's, that's very interesting, man. It's kind of what we came to see. Um, how often do you like to y'all get to see Jonah? See him a lot, like every oh, night. Oh, he comes on the he comes onto the island every every couple of days. Gotcha. Okay. Cool. When um, so you said these experiences happen at like nighttime. Yeah, every night. Every night. Okay. Yeah. So is it something that like we can we can go check out or how? Yeah, how do we anyone's see? welcome. Okay. Cool. Very cool. Um, what's the best way to uh, get over to the island? Is that oh, you can just join us on the ferry. It should be leaving here in about an hour. About an hour. Okay, cool. And we like meet here in, in an hour? Yeah, if you want to just stick around. There's not really anywhere to go. It's, you know. Yeah, we're standing out here. Okay, cool. Um, how, many, how many people are, is there a lot of y'all? Like I know there's a good bit, but like how many people would you stand around? Oh, I mean the island probably holds... I don't know, maybe like 400 people. Okay, gotcha. And like, so like everyone goes out there each night and then y'all all No, 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 we all live on that island, yeah. Oh, okay. And you just come over here like to work? Yeah, I'm, I'm one of the ones who comes here. This is my job. Okay. Gotcha. Very yeah, cool. eventually I'll move up. Move up? Yeah. Do you move up to the island or like to a different job or what is that? To a different job. Everyone has to have a purpose, right? Right. Yeah, this is my purpose right now. Gotcha. So then it changes whenever they like see that you're ready to move up or exactly. you get to when, request it. When 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 either Jonah or or the you some some of the shamans re, you know realize that you're ready to move up, they'll they'll let you know. Cool. Do you uh, like get to go in and meet them? Do they like tell you personally or does somebody just kinda say that his is your new this is your purpose? Oh, they walk around. They're, they're, where everyone's very approachable here. You can ask any questions you want. Sweet. Awesome. Don is just dying to ask a question to you. Oh, okay. Um, and he's just kind of like grabbing his Sierra. hair and he's just like, <laughs> I'm like it. I think he's kind of sweet on you, Don. <laughs> oh, okay. Cool. Um, I just want to make sure I don't take the spotlight. Sierra, do you want to ask any more questions? Okay. Um, I want to make myself appear as if I am some sort of person of import okay. for the next revelry coming up, which I guess would be tonight. Yep. And I would like to ask Josh... Um, not so much, you know, something along the lines of like, well, you know, I can't meet Jonah themselves, of course. They've, I've been told that I'm very busy, but I'm trying to get in touch with um, the right-hand person, and I, I had the information, and I lost it. What's her name? And maybe manipulate them into giving me this information? Uh, do me uh, manipulate someone. Okay. Seven. <laughs> and so you're I mean you're kinda it's like uh well I mean Jonah doesn't really have a a right hand person. There's there's you know, he's got a few he's got a shamans, right? And everyone has their purpose. Um Yes, um it was head shaman Well there's no head um, shaman, there's there's the three of them. Yeah, that's what it was. The, the the trio. I remember that. I thought that was a name. 
trio, but it wasn't. It was the three of them. Yeah. Yeah. You can yeah. meet you, you can meet Marie. She's the one that's on that island. Oh right, because there's yeah. one shaman per island. Well, they travel around, but she's the one who's in charge of this one. Okay, yeah. Um, I would like them to tell me about some tension between Marie and Jonah. So that would require <laughs> definitely much more than that. <laughs> gotcha, okay. Yeah. You know what? I'm going to... Um, I would like to use my luck, and I will offer them my pineapple of luck. <laughs> <laughs> Whilst, you know, and with it being a 12, you know, it will be, I will make it look as if, and this is very Don like, as if, like, this is a very important pineapple, and it is somehow tied to the, to the beliefs of the cult of Chauvin. Ooh. The pineapple of ecstasy, perhaps. Or kind of purpose. Oh, this is beautiful. As he hold, he's holding it. It's like, you, did you make this? Um, I will do like the Dom thing where he's like holding one finger to his temple. And he's like, wait, no. It is, it is the spirits of the cult. They're speaking to me. I will stand up on the ferry and scream some sort of gibberish <laughs> and convulse and pretend that I have been um, like inhibited by the spirits of the cult. Okay. And I will say something along the lines of like, Josh is the one to be the holder of the pineapple of existential Ecstasy forever and ever. <laughs> and and he and, must be and, the one and he will lead you and he will know where to go. And I will come back to and, and be like, you know, make some big show about like not wanting to let go of the pineapple because it has brought me so much ecstasy and so much revelry and so much joy. But so, because I know what my purpose is now, Josh can have it. Uh, so Josh immediately sees what you're doing, right? And he just, what he does, he immediately um, falls onto his knees and is just like over, overcome with what you're doing. Like to the point where he's like covering his eyes and it's just um, praying it just sounds like praying, like the tongue's kind of praying kind of stuff. It doesn't sound like anything in general, but any, there's a couple other people uh, have also kind of fallen down in the same, in the same manner. Um, so someone roll me an investigative mystery. I want to roll investigate a mystery because okay. after seeing what Don was doing at first, I was just like, this is really stupid. No one's going to believe this. And then seeing them all fall down, I'm like, wow, these guys are really stupid. They believe this. <laughs> <laughs> so, that was amazingly dumb. The cult of intelligence. No, I rolled a seven. Okay. Um, so what question did you want to ask on there? So they're all praying yeah, so they fall into their knees. They're just kind of like all covering their faces and just kind of like praying. Josh is like staring at Dawn, just like because Dawn, you're still holding the pineapple. Oh yeah, yeah. Like you're, maybe, you're up on a up, up on a crate and just like you know, just like this weird like you know. What what are you doing? What do you, what do you want to ask, Trick Tricks? I'm just gonna go like sit down beside Josh and just like look at him and just be like, so this is <laughs> you're believing this. This is great. I wanna ask him like who is he praying to exactly? He's he must be another anointed one. Oh, that's good. <laughs> I'm trying to keep my cool through all of this. So like inside I'm giddily laughing because I'm like, this is Wow. But on the outside, I'm like, oh, yes, I understand. Yes. An anointed one. That makes 
perfect sense. I try to explain to him in like the states he's known for like where we're from, he's known for like his great powers. So he's helped other people with his abilities. Yeah, I'm I'm trying to make this as easy for us as possible. So feeding onto Josh's so, book of this. So Josh like crawls over on his knees, right? And he don he, uh, he's like he's like grabbing onto your feet. And he's like, please, you must come to the sacrifice tonight. Oh no. <laughs> <laughs> Immediately, I break my trance and I go, that's what it was. I am the head officiator of the sacrifice tonight. How could I have forgotten? And then I turn back to Shamalama Ding Dong on the pineapple. <laughs> and everyone, like everyone, the other ones, everyone else has like gone back to work, but they're all like, can't keep their eyes off you they're doing what they're doing but they keep looking back at you because they are looking at essentially almost something divine is what they're josh is is trained on you now don so whenever it comes to, to josh you're going to have a plus one sweet for now <laughs> so Okay. Very right is over. He's got to get back to his purpose. Yep, right now, okay, I want to take a quick bio break, real, real quick, and then we'll we'll be right back. We're gonna be running back up, and uh, last time on Dragon Ball Z, Don now has his own cult following on the on the boat itself, at least. Um, as as the ferry starts pulling up, you see a bunch of these people just jumping off, and they're just like swimming towards the shore they can't wait and they're like running towards and they're yelling marie marie and they're running towards the shore a couple of them are still actually doing their jobs you know, josh is like latched right onto you don not moving at all what do you do i sense the spirits are telling me there is great conflict between Maria and Jonah. <gasps> the spirits, they will not come. They will not come unless there's peace. Oh, Josh, Josh, they're telling me that you know. Josh, you must tell me, tell me, whisper to me, whisper to me right here. What is happening between Jonah and Marie? Um, so I'm trying to look for some sort of relational leverage that we can then use for later. Okay. Um... Josh kind of, he kind of gives this confused look and just, I, well, I mean, she gets frustrated that she has to, uh, well, I, I feel weird about saying this. It is Jonah after all, but she gets frustrated. She said something about, I'm not your errand girl to him the last time they met up. Oh, I don't Josh, know. It's so sad. Josh, it's so sad. The spirits are, are crying because there is not unity and you know that our brotherhood is about unity, Josh. And it is very important. And you, as, as, as a disciple of peace, must help me. How can I bring them two together? Um, well, I mean, you, you really should talk to Marie about it. Then. Like, she would okay. be able to tell you. Okay. Is it, is it pretty much like I'm not going to get anything else out of That's all Josh? he knows. That's, the, okay, that's cool. probably the worst thing that he has ever heard between the two of them. You know, that's, that's, that's okay. it. Well, Josh, bless his heart. And he, like, um, just he kind of grabs your hand and is just kind of leading you off the boat. Okay. Um, I, want to re I want to reward Josh, and I want to assure him that this, this, will, this is between me, him, and the spirits and that they want him to have the pineapple of sensuality as a gift. And okay. I'm, I'm really hoping that he will feel fulfilled and happy. He, and he does. He like just is grabbing onto it and just like, he's like tears are streaming down everything. Just like, he's just crying and he runs off and like little kids are like running after him and he's running exactly the same way. He's like, ah! running into this into this village on this island that you 
come upon and it like it's what you see is essentially when the lights hitting all these houses it looks like it's been punched by disco like light is <laughs> refracting off every surface in this in this village um every house is like a mosaic pieces of arts are pieces of art is everywhere um everything is a sculpture there is not a single piece of of a uh, building that is not a work of art in some way shape or form some of it is very rough some of it can it looks very like it's very fine a fine piece of work work um it's a very it's a straight shot to look what it looks like the center of town so what do you do I feel like we should try to break away. Well, I don't want to say break away from the cult, but they are disturbing me with their shenanigans and the fact that I can't really read them. Because when I read them, all I get is the emperor wants you to come to Lake Largo, and I don't like that. <laughs> have, have you ever have you ever watched Avatar? Yeah, I watched that okay, episode okay. a few days ago. Yeah, okay, that's okay, why okay. I don't that's what like. I'm, it. I'm not saying that's what in that. I'm just saying that's the, the example. Yeah, I yeah, that, that's there. the feeling I get every time I try to read them. It's just that awkward bliss of ignorance and just like, like warm milk. That's what I feel. I just feel warm milk and warm it's milk gross. that's been left out on the on yeah, the counter. Like it was, like, it was cold this morning, but now it's ten o'clock at night and it's been out there all day. Type of warm it's like, milk. And it might still be fine, but. It don't look good. It don't feel good when you drink it. That's the feeling I'm getting. And it don't smell good. So no. no. Mm. I kind of want to go into the town and just meet people who might not be as down the rabbit hole as Josh. Okay. All right. Yeah. And again, there's a straight shot in the town as you're walking in. Um, everything is paved uh, after a certain point, and it, all the pavings are seriously like it's like the. Um, pieces of mosaic everywhere and it's, um, there are wagons and carts and everything. nothing is mechanical in the sense that uh, you see cars or anything everyone's walking around it's very much a small village um, off to the side you see this kind of a dome structure um, and it's a town square with a fountain and then you see this woman coming towards you and let me pull up her picture that I should have had it prepared. Uh, this woman coming towards you. And she looks like that. Kind of an older woman. And she says, So, you're our visitors. My name is Marie. I feel like this would be a good time to make sure Don doesn't speak, because if Don speaks, we might all be screwed. <laughs> <laughs> okay, what do you do? I'm going to politely reach my hand out to shake hers, but I'm also, I want to read her a little bit. Kind of do the same skim over like I did with okay. Josh. Go right ahead. Go ahead and roll me an investigative mystery real quick. Please do not screw this up. Oh, I screwed it up big time. I rolled a three. <laughs> okay. <laughs> And remember, if you're rolling below a six, uh, make sure to mark your experience. Uh, yeah. Uh, so what do you, what do, what do you say to her? You're interrupting John. Make sure uh, Dom makes sure, making sure he doesn't say a damn thing. I don't. I, I try to speak to her, but I have mood swings. So right when I'm thinking I'm staying calm, I just I just kind of start breaking down in tears. I'm like, nice oh. to meet, and then just. <laughs> oh sweetie it's okay and she just like kind of takes you in her in her arms and just is like how, how tall are you by the way how old are you right now i'm 21 21 but i'm i'm fairly tall of a person okay she is still it's just kind of like takes you she's very motherly like are you okay and just kind of pitting you know t tapping you on the shoulder in that very like like what's what what's going on hi <laughs> <laughs> I, I can't I can't fathom because after I murdered my dad, my mother and I relationship wasn't the best. Yeah. Because you know, you murdered your dad. So 
she's being very motherly and I'm not reacting well to the situation because my mom and I don't have a great relationship. So I'm like, oh, mm, mm. You know what? Then to put a damper on a marriage. Uh-huh, yeah, yeah see, your daughter kills your yeah. husband. <laughs> that depends. <laughs> yeah, also, yeah. It, it, it depends on the marriage, yeah. yeah. Like, if she just kind of gives you this nice big mom hug. Mm, like, come here, let's sit down on the fountain, okay? And you, just, you both sit down. And she just kind of, like, grabs your hand and just that, that kind of, like, like, <sighs> so, what brings you to the island? And just kind of gives you a nice tender I, squeeze, you know? Yeah, I kind of, like, not completely spew out everything that's happened, but, like, kind of give, like, a skim basis of, like, we were told to come here by some weirdo wearing all black, and we just got to come here, and now we're here, and there was a pineapple, and there was a ritual, <laughs> And now I'm crying in front of you, and I don't know what's going on. I'm just kind of losing it <laughs> all at once. <laughs> like, everything has been piled up, and it's a crap show. And I'm just in tears, crying to this random lady. And I'm just, I'm just bawling my eyes out now. All right. And she goes, oh, pa- is, that what jo- is that what Josh was yelling about? He went off, <laughs> went off into, into the... Uh, into the square talking about a pineapple for the sacrifice tonight. I just, I didn't know what he was talking about. <laughs> we, we, that's a tropical fruit. And that's just kind of a weird thing to have on this island. <laughs> it's a I thought he went, out, went a little weird. <laughs> okay. That explains some things. Oh, what's your name, dear? Um, I'm going to tell her my name is Trix. Because I still don't like saying, having my full name be spoke, spoken, spoke. Spoken. Do you tell her the reason why you don't like your your name to be spoken? I just say I don't like. My, I've had some family issues. We're gonna leave it off at that because I feel like if I go deeper into the, what happened, I'm gonna have a full, a more breakdown than I'm breaking down already. It's okay, sweetheart. You you people come here to be who they who they need to be. There's hiccups in between my words for sure. <laughs> I, okay. yeah. There's hiccups everywhere. Okay, and There's she just kind of, she kind of is just like tapping you on the back. Like, what about the rest of you? I just kind of point to everybody. I go, that's Riley. <laughs> she's, she's really smart. She's cool. There's Don. He's an idiot. Sierra, I don't know what her deal is, but she's here. <laughs> I'm just I'm I'm bawling everything that I probably shouldn't be. So everybody's real names <laughs> losing control. All right. What about the rest of you? <laughs> you're seeing I mean, you're seeing tricks. Me. You're seeing tricks just like sitting next to this person who's giving her probably motherly attention in the first time in forever and now has spilled the beans pretty much about Everything you might have not wanted to know. Besides the killing him. Besides, besides the killing, killing Jonah, him. Yeah. Uh, I besides... thought that under wraps, guys. <laughs> so far. So far. What are you going to do? Hey, someone needs to stop me. I'm an emotional wreck right now. Wow. What a mess. Yes. <laughs> uh, you know what? The thing is, she really wanted to meet Jonah and talk to him about, about this one-on-one. You think uh, there's well, a chance? Not tonight. Jenna's not scheduled to be here tonight. Um, but if you stick around for a couple of days, he might be here. And yeah, anyone can talk to Jonah when he comes by. Okay. Yeah. yeah. Is there a place we can stay? Or yeah, yeah, we can find you a place to stay. We have plenty of space. You have some, some pamphlets or anything? That I can... No, <laughs> you, we're all <laughs> we're all very much open books. We try not to uh, create any way, more waste than we have to. Um, as you can tell, we we kind of create everything we have here. Can I read a bad situation and know, um, um, are there any dangers that we haven't noticed? Yeah, go right ahead. Okay, cool. Nice. So. Oh, okay. Well, I rolled a four, so. <laughs> okay. You you don't notice a thing. <laughs> you think you are just you are enamored by how gorgeous this town seems. Just like again, you go to the most artistic part of your town. You guys are living in Miami, right? 
Just like, like, just imagine the most colorful, just artistic part of your city that by like right. 10. Okay, this is what this looks like. Every, there is not a single piece, like all, anything that would be a sidewalk essentially looks like a, like a work of art, like everything. But what you, something that you notice though, is everything seems like it was put together, like things were broken and put together in, in mosaics. That, that is just something that you notice, everything, including the fountain, the houses, um, anything you notice around you, carts, obviously, are just carts, and then you put together carts. Um, one thing you don't notice, though, there, there are just no animals. Mm. Okay. Yeah. Um, but there are kids everywhere. There's, um, if you go noticing around, there are workshops and blacksmiths and silversmiths and lots of different, anything artistic you would see is a is there this seems to be the public square for that mm. i um i'm gonna play off of buster's role and obviously buster has tried to sense that something is wrong and has come up with the opposite and so the way i pictured in my mind is a bit like uh scooby-doo when they turn away from shaggy and scooby and then they turn back to Shaggy and Scooby and they some, somehow have inexplicably like just sort of melded into the world that they're in. So the way I picture it is like Dawn is addressing everyone by like whatever the, their cult titer, brother, sister, whatever, maybe Acolyte, Acolyte Fred, Acolyte whatever, mm -hmm. um, is um, making like friendship bracelets with like a woman that is like looks like a brown raisin she's just so wrinkly and has been under the sun for a really long time and is wearing uh whatever sort of i'm getting like a river hippie sort of island hippie vibe right like has inexplicably cut like change into cut off shorts and 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 you know maybe i don't know has maybe has some sort of necklace around him and it's essentially finding that the cult is very you know it started it started doing that trying to sort of like infiltrate and make friends but now it's like legitimately maybe buying into the cool a little bit i mean it does seem nice here we are very nice here it's i mean you're welcome to stay as long as you want um, we do have the ritual tonight, and it should be in a few hours. So in the middle of my breakdown, I, I have a pet back home, and I start calling out for this pet. So <laughs> I start, because I just want anything that resembles said pet. And I have a bunny back home, and I'm like, where is Mr. Squiggles? I can't find Mr. Squiggles. And I grab onto Maria, and I'm like, where's your closest bunny? I want a bunny. <laughs> But we don't have any animals on the island. I'm like, oh, really? You don't, you don't have any animals? No, I'm sorry, sweetie. No, we don't. <laughs> okay. I just start bursting more in tears because I'm like, you know. She's just like, just like, just, oh, honey. <laughs> in the middle of my breakdown, I kind of, like, while she's patting my back, I look at Riley and my face goes straight. And I'm like, that's weird. <laughs> she's, she's, yeah. I, I mean, we, we, it is a. I mean, yes, I can understand, but it's a, it's a sep. And she just kind of gets, you know, stands up a little bit away from you. After that, <laughs> it's a little odd. Um, and she said, "Well, it's a separation of duties. You know, we have our, we have another island for all the animals." and for the farming and things of that nature. That way we kind of separate everything. Everyone has their job. I'm going to stand up and I'm just going to act like I did not just have a whole breakdown in front of this <laughs> random lady. I was going to get up and be like, thank you for telling me this. Thank you. Just get up and walk You're away. welcome. <laughs> I am going to um, read <laughs> Trix's cues and be like, we have had a really long and stressful trip here is there a way that we can like just go hang out until the ceremony happens tonight absolutely absolutely um hold on one sec and then uh uh wendell wendell and then you she like 
beckons over this like teenager. He's just just a random teenager that's just kind of walking by. Uh, take our guests over to the guest house, okay? And he's like, okay. And he's kind of looking at you, Don, because he's heard already heard about you. And just, and but Marie just kind of like, kind of gives you a look, because she hasn't heard about you, I think, yet. The kids all know about you, Don. <laughs> all of them. Every all the kids know about you now. And they and you get taken over to the guest house. Nice. Um, and it's a very basic, uh, basic guest house. The inside is just as gorgeous artistically as the outside. What do you do? I um, I I bless each one of the children, like in the name of of the Shavan spirits, you know, and and let them whatever I picked up from their mannerisms. I'm trying. Probably like stumble through, stumbling through it, but like you know, may the spirits move with you, whatever. And then I, and then I go in. You know. Okay. Yeah. And then you just true purpose. <laughs> <laughs> they look at you kind of weird because it's different than what I think what they're used to. But then they they just kind of go out. They're like, oh my god, and they're like, oh, you touched me. Yeah. <laughs> um, I'm. One last thing. I'm also calling myself a Dawn of the River. Dawn so of the play River. Play on words. Um, I did hear that she used my real name, D O N, Dawn, but I'm trying to make it sound like something that um, that the cult might name themselves. Okay. Can I ask Wendell how long he's been here and how he got here? Oh, I came here with my dad. Um, and it was about. Two years ago? You just, it sounded cool when you got here? Well, I mean, I didn't want to come. Like, oh. I mean, I miss TV. <laughs> but it's, it's cool. I mean, I mean, it kind of sucks when I have to go over to the farming island, but, eh. My ears perk when he says farming island. <laughs> I just kind of, I go up to him and I'm like, so, this farming island. What 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 you doing on the farming island? Is it weird, sketchy? I want to know. No, I just don't like getting my hands dirty. Mm. Yeah, I don't okay. trust this kid. <laughs> <laughs> you want to skim skim his lake law guy as well? Yes, I want to skim his lake law <laughs> guy as well. Go for it. He seems like the only one who's not a complete and total crap show. Ooh, that's better. I rolled a uh, eight, so plus one, I got nine. Okay. Uh, when you skim him, he's very truthful. He's, he is believing what he's saying. Um, he doesn't. He doesn't. He hates farming. And when you look into his mind, um, you do see what it is, and you see it a different island. And it is the, the type of buildings are like the type of buildings you would see in a in an agricultural location. So lots of hides, lots of um, like it's like very farming oriented, pens, things of that nature. And you see his mind just think about one of the worst duties that he has to do and is mucking out the stables. Do That's I what he's thinking about. People like living on that island? Yeah, yeah. You see basically the same as what you see here. It's just okay. another island. Okay. Dang it. Okay. Is, uh, is there a way for us to go visit said island? Like, are we able to go over there and just check it out, Wendell? Well, we, we all switch jobs. It's just uh, once a month, though. Okay. Yeah. I think the, the job switch was last week. Okay. And so you go out to the island or you're not on that island anymore? Oh, no, no. I, I'm on this island now. That's, yeah. Okay. Gotcha. I like this island a lot better. I get That's to, good. Yeah. Is who is the best person to talk to if we want to go see that? that oh, place? that would be Marie. Marie. Okay. Yeah. Cool. She's kind of the one that we go to for everything. Around yeah, here. she's our she's our shaman. She's a shaman. Okay. Whoa. Awesome. What What was your job on this island? I, I mean, I'm just I'm just the person who who's the, who's the hands of the island. I mean, I just. I do whatever we need to do. Um, eventually, I'll be able to get my own job, and I'll I I do what I need to for the island. 
what kind of things are those on this island though? Like there's the farm island. I, I mean we we make things on this one. Okay. Yeah. What about the other so one island? island? Yeah. Huh? There's the third island, right? Yeah. What do they huh? do there? I don't know, they're just they're just people. It's okay. I want to scan them. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Because that was a super Is there a way that I can help with that? Like try to try to get that, soothe them, get them in a more open, you know, so they're more open. Open his mind more. It'll still be easier for me to jump in. Yeah. Let me roll the help. Maybe a manipulate. Well, you could do a help. I, you can also be a manipulate someone. Uh, I cannot manipulate people. I'm way so. better at that. <laughs> All right. Yeah, you can go ahead and uh, go ahead and, and if you want to skim his mind again, go right ahead. Yeah, I'm gonna try to skim it. Ooh, I got some good numbers. Got an eight I got three. a ten plus one, so I got an eleven. I'm gonna skim his brain like crazy. <laughs> okay. So, what two questions do you want to ask? Probe it. <laughs> I, I don't really want to skim. I just kind of want to go exactly to his memories of that specific island and so there's everything. A, so there's, there's a couple of questions there that you can look at. Uh, and, I'll, and I'll fit it to what you're... I want to know what exactly... Because he said there's just people. But he didn't say that in like a, oh, it's just people. He said it in like a, a yeah. weird way. That's okay. not normal. <laughs> so when you, when, when, when you kind of go into his mind again, it's... You see these people, you don't see the island. You see these people on the farming island and they're dressed in very raggedy clothes. Um, they're out, they're the ones out in the field. Nothing in, nothing in particular that is, um, that would be distinguishing them other than their clothes. They're very raggedy. Everyone that walks around them just kind of ignores them. The reason he said just kind of people is in your mind is he was being polite because the word that you see rolling around in his head is useless. Oh, that's not very nice. That's also very interesting though. Can I figure out more? I'm gonna try to figure out more. Like, how? What's their uselessness? Like, what makes them so useless? Like, depending on like how everybody else is somewhat useful in their their things, their endeavors. Okay. Um. So as you're kind of digging into his head, you're you're noticing that. All they're doing, every single one of these people, what they're doing is all the backbreaking labor. They're not oh. doing, you're, they're just, they're essentially the mules of both of, of these islands. So based on what the information you're getting from his mind and the sense you're getting from his mind, these are the people who come to this island with no skills. Okay. Hmm. Does anybody else want to try to help me to get more information out of this poor innocent child who I've just probed? <laughs> <laughs> is, is you know what, you know what's, really, what's really interesting? I just got a book actually that uh, that has has information about that about what you just did. That's like make sure you, people are okay with this. <laughs> no, I'm not making sure. I'm just diving head in. I'm like, oh, nice to meet you. Tell me all of your secrets. <laughs> so now because you're using your telepathy on this one, um, the rest of you are going to have to be, make, fit this into the fiction. You all notice what she's doing and you are all been okay. around br tricks enough to know what she's doing. So you cannot get away with what she's doing. She's doing it sneakily. She's like, you know, hey, how's it going? You know, I mean, she's doing it that way. Um, the rest of you, though, how, how are you going to try to help out? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Mm 
and you don't have to. I mean, we can just keep going, kind of going as well. What is it that you want to do? Can we ask, like, who decides that? Is that is it because they're new? Is it they're just evaluated and that's what they're put in? Well, that's that's what Beatrix knows. You don't know this. <laughs> Unless you have a telepathic connection. I mean, if you want to have that kind of telepathic yeah, connection. Huh? You want to be in Trix's, Tr Trix's mind all, at all times? Yes, that'd be awesome. Okay. <laughs> I trust uh, you. Yeah, I trust her. Because yeah, if it was Dawn, I've been like, get the heck Trix, out of my brain. Trix and Dawn. Riley have a, a telepathic <laughs> connection at all times. So, um, my background is charlatan, uh -huh. which is essentially I pretend to be able to do what Tris, what Trix actually does. Yeah. Um, but I'm obviously much of a, sh much more of a showman about it. And yeah. so I would like to introduce into the fiction that Trix and I are a bit of like a, um, like a sidekick show. So she actually does the reading and we have a way to, f to feed it to each other. Okay. And so we, we, you know, we play off each other. And so I, um, it, essentially, I want to insert into the fiction some way for her to communicate what she knows, and I want to, I want Don to have his own way of getting more information. Okay, how do you want to do that? Well, I will once again pretend that I am an emissary to the spirits. Okay. Of the cult of Shavin, the, the spirits of Shavin, and I will once again do like the stand up. In the world around and showmanship that I that I'm I am connecting right with with the ancestors right and um, and so I have this um, move. It says when you want people to think that you're using magic, roll plus cool. On a ten or more, your audience is amazed and fooled by your illusion. On a seven to nine, you trip up a couple times, it's janky, and, and maybe someone notices that it's not quite truthful. You may also use manipulate people with fortune telling. When you do that, ask, what are they ho hoping for as a free question, even if you miss? Okay. All right, go ahead. Roll it. Okay. Cool. Okay. Okay. I... rolled an eight okay and i am going to pull in buster in on this and uh talk about the triumvirate of spirits that is that we're being that we're channeling through together and i'm giving buster the look that i've given him in her excuse me since like elementary school since that one time that like, like during, during they had to lie for me about putting the tack on the teacher's desk and like go with this and so i'm hoping buster can sort of join in on the improv and bump me up to a 10. Oh, excuse me bump me up to a, oh it doesn't matter actually i want to get the whole group you know oh no because i can't get like if everyone helps can i get a plus one and a plus one well, I'm gonna give you a, give you a plus one because he, because Wendell's already distracted with uh, with tricks. Cool. So if someone else can want to help out as well. Okay, I would, I want to get that up to a ten. Yeah. Sierra, you're noticing you're noticing Dom up to up to a, up to his tricks again. What what are you doing? <laughs> no pun intended. <laughs> I don't, don't. Yeah. Wow. Yeah. Um... Oh, that's a good question. Sierra, you hear the spirits. All right, yeah. To communicate through all of us. All right. Give me your hand. Okay. Let's Give do it. me your ah. You know, in a minute we. Got to roll my out. eyes up behind in the back of my head. So roll me a help out. Give that would be your cool. Give the handshake in there. I'm getting ready for an exorcism. Okay. Yes. I, I grab one hand and put the other one and shimmy on my ding dong again. I'm rolling. Here we go. You rolling, 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 rolling. Help. That's cool, right? Yep. So that's a 10. 
Ooh, nice. So you do get a ten out, a ten from your uh, your magic trick there, buddy. Sweet. So, so what with a ten? What do you, what is it that you get? Uh, so I get to ask just for free the question: What is Wendell hoping for? Oh. Right now. So right now, Wendell is just like. Oh. Trix is just like on one side. Don, you're on a seat, like this wick, gorgeous wicker seat that you're now standing on top of, and it's like kind of creaking now. You're just like, ma, and you have now another one that just falls to his knees, and just. <laughs> Wendell, the spirits want to grant you your wishes. What what is it that you hope for now more than anything? I, I, I want to go back. And he just, just is, he just covers his mouth. He, and okay. just runs, runs out. Dang it. Dang it. <laughs> I was to say, I still have a little bit of a connection to him. I could have tried to snip the last bit, but he dipped. <laughs> Stupid <Okay>. kid. <laughs> okay, I will whisper as he's running away. Wendell, it's your purpose to leave. The spirits say it. Does he hear it? <laughs> he does. He does He does hear it. I'm yes. going to give that one to you. And he, yes. he just kind of goes off and runs. Dang it, Wendell. Oh, dang it. <laughs> you, you might see Wendell a little later. Okay. Wendell, you best show up. <laughs> I got my money on you, kid. And and from around the corner, you, you see Josh. Like, oh, what? What happened to Wendell? Brother Josh, we were just speaking to Wendell about he's his just purpose. Kinda, he's just kind of, kind of like caressing the pineapple, and just um, the the sa the sacrifice is is um is starting uh, in a few minutes. You should come. Okay, I I do. I, Josh, don't go anywhere. I'm hearing very strongly from the spirits that we are meant to to come together tonight whatever that will mean to josh you i want you to be with me oh okay hold on one second the the way that i envision it is like we all do like the group huddle and like the camera is below us right and so we're all like yeah. <laughs> yeah we're all discussing like okay all right what's the plan <laughs> well my, my can we do it my, okay my, josh is there okay well whatever but like like what is I'm trying to like <laughs> to have like a huddle with the team like well, how are we going to approach this? <laughs> Josh, is hanging out with uh, us. Josh is still with us, right? He's huddled in our huddle. I'm just kind of I'm just seeing you guys huddle like. Okay, cool, cool, cool. Oh, okay, okay. Okay, Josh is not there. Yeah. Okay. I'm just sitting there, you know, just petting petting my pineapple. Sweet. Sacrifice deal. Can I do like a, a read bad situation on that to see if that's not yet. We, no, not at the okay. moment. Yeah. We gotta be in, we gotta be there. Okay. Not yet, yeah, not yet. So I feel like so Josh said that you only have a plus one, right, Don? Yeah, so far right now it's just a plus one with Josh. Okay, okay, okay. So for this, say that you need, like, t try to tell Josh that, like, you need me as, like, your communicator for, like, with the spirits. I help kind of sift through the, the spirits, but you need Riley there to, like, ground you. Like, we all have our own separate purposes. Yes. We're, we're technically our own mini cult. We're making them believe that we're a cult. You're the yes. leader. We all have our own purposes. So you got to tell Josh to be like, hey, I'm going to need like this, that, and the, I, I need my group there so I can perfectly mm -hmm. communicate with the spirit so it can flow evenly. We're going to okay. need that. Okay. Do we want Josh to try to sort of bring us backstage? Yeah. Yeah. Okay, yeah. But when we get there, somebody needs to read the situation to make sure we're not all about to get our butts hung up and burnt on a stake. Agreed. I've got a strong feeling that's going to happen to us. Agreed. Splitting the party is never ideal, but 
I, I'm thinking sneak some of us on stage and um, essentially BS baffles brains. If we have enough people believing that we're meant to be there, we'll just be there. So you're saying you and I need to go up on stage and try to BS our way through it? And well, have and Riley we can pull, and Sierra talk and we can, like in the background. Yeah, we can play, uh, we can do play 76 where like you're actually reading people and then I am like, <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. And then um, Sierra is a professional investigator. Sierra can be investigating and Buster can do what she does best. <laughs> what Buster does best? What is that? We don't, we don't know. <laughs> But she's the best at it. <laughs> but she is the best. And at from it. behind, from behind you, you just feel this tap, 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 tap. It's starting. I, I really need to go. I'm, 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 I'm sacrificing the night. So can we go? Oh, he's sacrificing. Oh, okay. Yeah. We, you know, we start, we start moving, and then I start talking to Josh. So yeah, you're sacrificing tonight. I mean, like that's really important. That's big for you. So, yeah, and I, I want you to be there with me. Oh, Josh, I wouldn't miss this. In fact, the spirits told me it was my purpose to be with you. Yeah, and he grabs your hand and he's like dragging you. Like, he's like, he can't, he can't hold on. Yeah, I mean. Sweet, just like I'm grabbing tricks. With you. I'm grabbing tricks, so can we like. like he, he's not like stopping, he's, he's, he's. Okay, yeah, he's sweet, like, we're going. So we're like kindergartners, like pretty much yeah. standing in a line. Okay. And we he's, are kindergartners. he's leading you towards the domed area that you first initially saw when you first came onto the island. And it's it's a pretty big dome. Um, not like thun, you know, Thunderdome dome, right? But it's <laughs> <laughs> but it's it's a it's an opaque dome. Um, and as you as you walk in, it's like this amphitheater style in a squared off with steps. Uh, where people can sit and you see the people there, the, at least in this village, um, all around. They're already piling inside um, and heading down. And obviously right there in the center is where the sacrifice is going to happen. And you see Marie down there. There's a fire, and there's a fire pit. Um, and that's where Josh is starting to head down. He's got a hold of your hand there, Don. Sweet. Is like, this a on. bad situation? Not yet. I, or, not yet. Okay, cool. This feels like a bad. <laughs> <laughs> but if you want to roll it, you can. I would love to roll, and I'm <laughs> paying attention to things like do the drums sound menacing or how? Oh, there's no drums or, yet. There's no drums. There's no drums yet. Okay, cool. I would like to assess the situation. Okay, go ahead and roll it. Okay. As you, as you, you and Josh are heading down those stairs, he's. Go ahead and roll me the bad situation. What are the rest of you guys doing? I'm looking at everybody. I can't do a mass telepath, like telepathic thing with anybody. Mm -mm. Bad times. Um, <laughs> hmm. Oh, I can, can I use my the site? It says you can see the invisible, especially spirits and magical influences. You may communicate with, maybe even make deals with the spirits you see. And they give you more opportunities to spot clues when you investigate a mystery. Now, is that one you took took then? Yeah, that's one I took. Okay, all right, hold on to that one. What we have one? actual spirits we can talk to. <laughs> There's okay. a legitimate spirit. Wait, so I have one that's an oops. If you want to stumble across something important, tell the keeper you will find something important and useful, although not necessarily related to your immediate problems. Okay, do you want to use it now? Yes, please. Okay, uh, on the floor you see just like this like uh, bundle of leaves. It's like just, but it, you know, just you can hold it in your hand and it's like wrapped up in twine. It just looks like a bundle of leaves. You know, you think maybe it's like a smudge stick or something, you know, and you can just kind of put it in your pocket or something. Okay. Sierra, what about you? So, you know, I'm just getting ready to start getting professional on here. You know, it's, it's, uh, did you did you did you go in as well? Yeah, I'm going in. You know. Okay. What are you doing? Did you go go into one of the seats up in the high area, or what? Or did you go down low to protect your brother? Yeah, I don't want him 
to be on the far end of my grenade launcher. I want him to be. <laughs> we brought weapons <laughs> to the indie village. <laughs> I said I was professional. I didn't say I was a professional. What? You know? All right. What about you, Trix and, and, and Riley? Where did you guys sit? I thought I was still being dragged around because, like, wasn't didn't Don? Didn't you grab my arm? Uh huh. No, oh, yeah. The, yeah, you all you all came yeah. into the came into the essentially the the tent, the square, the sacrificial area. Okay. Then the inside of this is just a, it's like it's there's pyres lit. I mean, there's like big fires going on everywhere. It's nice and lit. It's sparkly as all hell because again, it's everything like like everything else it's just the full disco of ball it's like a big disco ball again it's been punched by disco <laughs> like everything um and so th th there's just like lots of people around they're you're, they're starting to fill in um what so where do you guys want to be do you want to be near the exit do you want to be i'm gonna stay close to dawn first. yeah i'll assess the situation and then we'll see okay. where i'm supposed to be okay yeah well, yeah, do you, Josh wants he is dragging you down down to the middle. He wants okay. you to be with him. All right. Yeah. So what did you We're roll? Done. Yeah. I rolled non favorably. Mm. It is a uh, to assess the situation. I rolled plus sharp. Yep. Okay. So I rolled a seven. So that's good. Okay. You still got one hold. Yeah. What do you want to know? There's a there's a question there a question list there. You get to ask yes. one question out there. Okay. Uh, okay. So it says, what sort of creature is it? So I would like to find some sort of clue as to like the so it's not on supernatural the, thing. Not on the investigative mystery. You would read about a bad situation. There's a different set of questions oh, when you read a bad situation. Yeah. Okay. Yep. Okay. <laughs> what dangers have I not noticed yet? Um, so as you're heading down, uh, down, down there, you're starting, you notice the bottom of these steps, there are shards of um, glass and pieces of metal and they're all over the place now luckily you have shoes on like no one down there does like they paint that picture for me again so like the bottom of the pit where the sacrifice is right there's a big big like barbecue pit that they made it's nice and it's like big fire already going marie's down there already um josh doesn't have shoes on already he'd had sandals on but he already took them off but at the bottom of it there's it's like a sandy pit there but there's like shards of glass pieces of metal like everything is just like like sh all those pieces are sticking out and he's telling you you have to take off your shoes i reluct reluctantly do so at the starting line uh Sorry, now no. you say I you reluctantly start oh, yeah. at the starting. Oh, yeah. yeah. <laughs> yep, nope, I got that. That's a cake reference. Yep. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, I will do it if I have to cross something. I will be like, the spirits want me to wait until I'm over there. And uh, no, no, yeah, we, have to, we have to get on here. It's okay. You're okay. You'll be fine. Oh, just kind of just kind of sift your feet through everything. Oh, gosh. Okay. okay. Yeah, I do it. All right. Dawn has a very low tolerance for pain. All right. <laughs> okay. So as you notice everything, if, if now that you're down there, I want you to roll me an investigative mystery. So we are now in a pit with Pineapple Josh and Marie. Trix is in there. Is there anyone else in there? I don't know, Trix. Did you go down there in the pit as well, or did you go, no, go down there I and just? I stood right outside. <laughs> that taking off your shoes thing. Yeah. So, you, I, so you're so like there's the pit, and then you're sitting on the on the seats right there. Yeah, right? I'm right. So like, that's I can fine. So you just kind of like you. you like shimmied up next to there. Yeah, you shimmied up next to the to the elders, and they're just like, 
I did not get a good feeling about the situation. I'm sorry, Don. I trusted you, and I was like, hmm. So, like, when you're going down there, you take off your shoes, and you look back to see me, and you see me standing there like, hmm. Yeah. What about about you, Riley? We have that TV moment, I feel like, where it's like, get down here. And she's like, get down here. And then, like, I turn, and I'm like, now I'm being all polite with the elder. So, sorry. Go ahead. I followed tricks down. Like, I kind of followed them. But um, so I'm like down towards the bottom, but I'm certainly not, not in the middle. Okay. And Sierra, you stay up above. Yeah, I mean, in running, you know, running distance, so I can get down there. Okay. Um, but yeah, I'm ready to just blast some fools. Oh, so did a, you ask for an investigative mystery roll or not? Yes, yeah, I asked you for an investigative mystery. Yep. Okay. Um, I rolled an eight. Hey, totally. okay, go, all right, you can go ahead and ask me one question off that investigative mystery roll. Okay, so what sort of creature is it? So um, maybe some sort of clue as to what we're going to face here. So you're noticing a lot, it's just like, in here you're noticing um, the fire and that it's 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 a pit. You're all this stuff in your let me ask you a question real quick though this pineapple what's the structure of it is it like hollow it's is it magical? magical oh okay is it hollow it's a um it's a magical pineapple of luck that we uh procured from a previous episode uh some sort of sailor that had it as a welcome sort of item. Well, let me, it's, sure. it's more of a situation of, was it cast? Was it, is it stone? Is it, it's made out of. what's it made out of? What's it made out of? It's an, it's an actual pineapple. Oh, it's an actual pineapple. Yeah. It's an actual pineapple that has, that's like hundreds of years old, but it's still fresh and ripe and perfect. Okay. It's magical. All right. So yeah, so it kind of looks like a very it looks metallic. Okay, I, I'm gonna that's what I imagine in my in my head. Um, so Marie just starts, and I'm gonna hold have you hold on to that for a second. Marie starts up. Welcome everybody. Welcome to tonight's sacrifice. When we have some guests, uh, Don. Hello. Um, and then everyone, tricks. Uh, sweetheart, I'm so glad you're here. Um, and then we're, I, I don't know where our other guests are and she looks, oh, there you are, right? And I don't know, well, I, she, I'm sure she's around. Um, well, I, let's just, I, you know, we don't like, we don't like going off too, too much about this. Who, you know, let's just get started. Josh, are you ready? Yeah. <laughs> I brought, this is my sacrifice for the night. And he like holds up the pineapple. I got this from, I got this from Don. He, he, he's our new divine. And he grabs it and smashes it into the fire. And Marie, at the same time, was throwing something into the fire and just goes, huh? <laughs> I want everyone to roll me a cool. <laughs> so, two d6s and add cool. Yep. I better roll well because I got a minus one for cool, so... I didn't roll well. <laughs> I rolled a six, but since I have a minus one, I rolled a five. Okay. I have a seven. Okay. I got a six total. Okay. But if we are in act three, I would lean toward using my luck point. I Didn't you use that earlier? You used your luck. I get a luck point from my pineapple. Ah, okay. Mm-hmm. It's my artifact of luck. And then on top of that, I have my regular luck point. Okay. Yeah, that's fine. So you go, you totally use it. That's fine. Sierra? 
11. Fantastic. Oh. So um, here's what happens. Um, Don and Sierra, you notice at the same time you hear Josh say, he's our new divine, and tosses the pineapple into this huge fire at the same time as Marie is tossing something into the fire as well, and also is surprised by what Josh, is, Josh says. The minute this happens, this kind of weird ethereal kind of red light just lights up the room. Don, you, and Sierra get buffeted by this light and are you kind of shake it off and see everyone around you. And they're just kind of like knocked out to the floor. Trix, are you okay? Yes, I was being asked about fruits. <laughs> pineapples? Yes, pineapples have that effect on people. It was um, a pear and an apple, so yeah. Yeah, yeah. Um, everyone's knocked out. Everyone on the stands, everywhere, everyone's just kind of just knocked out on the floor. They have these like euphoric faces on, on, um, including you, Riley, and you, Trix. You both are also knocked out. You're, you're able to kind of, you're kind of in and out. You're not as catatonic as the rest of them, but you're, you also take one harm as well. Cool. Don, you notice that the both of them laying on the floor. A little, you know, goofy. <laughs> um, you notice Sierra's still standing. You notice I want you to roll me another bad situation, actually. Read a bad situation. Seven for me. Okay. Go ahead and ask me one of those questions. I'll defer to Sierra this time. Whoa, what happened? You want me to roll? Sorry, my wife, my wife hit me. We'll, we'll tell her to stop. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> That's why that's why I have my wife play in Brent's game, because otherwise she would be she'd be doing the same thing. Yeah, I know. All right. Did you need me to roll a bad situation? Yeah, I want you to read roll me a bad situation. Okay. Here we go. It's sharp. My sharp is not as good as my cool, but seven. Okay. Anyway, I'll go ahead and ask me one a question from one of those that okay. list of the bad situation. Wow. What's the what's the best way to protect Trix and thus Riley here? Um, right now, it's probably to get them out of this area. Okay, that's what we're doing. Okay, so what do you do? Um, what's most vulnerable to me? Can you rephrase that question? What's most vulnerable to you? Yeah, like is that like what is what is most dangerous to me? Yeah, so well, yeah, essentially, yeah, they kind of wrote with that. But essentially, what's what's most dangerous to you, or what could be most that you, what is most dangerous to yourself? However, you want to interpret it, honestly. Oh, okay. So, okay. Um, so my question will be, um, because at the end of the day, the only person that Don will ever sacrifice himself for is Buster. Um, otherwise, Damn, Sierra! <laughs> it's Buster. Um, <laughs> although I've grown quite attached to Trix and, and, and Sierra. Um, but Sierra is your sister, bro. Grown attached to your sister. That's <laughs> I would warn you, which is big for Don. Um, I will uh, like to know how could we get how could we get out? 
Uh, so what is the best way out? How you can out is literally that there's only one entrance and one exit. Is that one that you came in? Um, you can just go straight we, up, straight up the how stairs. How do we get out of? How do we get out of the island? Yeah, the only only way is, is how you got on the island, and that, and that would be on the ferry. Okay. Okay. You can All swim right. it. It's a it's a small channel, but it's kind of cold. Oh, I didn't swim. Unless I super have to. You saw the limits of the um, saving me. <laughs> it's weather. So just to clarify what you said earlier, everyone is um, struck by the light, including Marie. Roll me another bad situation. <laughs> All right. I'm actually rolling well tonight. This is shocking. Oh, should have said that. Should not have said that. I rolled a twelve. So when she knocked, she threw that down, and the that light hit everything, and you got buffeted. You not you when you came up, you saw everyone go down. You saw her hesitate, like half a second longer than everyone else. But she eventually be also became overcome. She by the light. also fell down. Yes. Gotcha. Okay. So every has literally everyone been knocked on their back. Yep. Everyone fell is. down and is kind of on the ground and just kind of has this like, just okay. like very euphoric face on. No one, no one's in a compromised position. Everyone's just very chill. Okay. Earlier, I had asked, and you said, hold on to that, and maybe we're still holding on to it. But, like, my Here question was, history? like, mm -hmm. yes, what sort of creature is it? So, do we know yet what the what the BBEG is? No, you don't know yet. Okay. But you do uh, know now that it is something to do with some kind of energy. <laughs> okay. Uh, oh, I'm sorry. I... I how far is Trix and uh, they're on the away? They're, they're on the floor of the area. So think of it kind of think of it kind of like a like a dirt dirt square rectangle, and then there's like seats right around it. Okay, and that's yep, where they I'm are. It. Okay, I'm gonna go straight to Buster and like, come on, buddy, come on, come on, come to, come to. No, nothing. Oh, man. Sierra, what are you doing? There we go. I'm I'm gonna go over and pull tricks out. Okay. Just pulling around, not bothering, trying to wake nobody up, nothing like that. Fantastic. Yeah, you can just grab tricks, put them all over the shoulder, just like that fireman. What are you telling Don? Like, come on, dude. I'm like, <laughs> all right. I I'm like yelling and complaining, like Buster, you should not have eaten those donuts. And I mean, like. I am not strong. I mean, it's just like the most awkward carry out, but this is my best friend since kindergarten. And so I'm like very awkwardly carrying Buster out. Now, see, Riley, you had a seven? Yes. Okay. So you are kind of coming out of it now that Don kind of smacked you around a little bit. <laughs> Sweet. But um, you just, you can't tell what's, what's going on around you. You're kind of, your head's kind of spinning. So you're going to take minus ones for now okay. uh, until you get healed up. So I have a hallucinations. So okay. I feel like me being knocked out has just added on that beautifulness of badness. Okay. So like, while I, I'm guessing I'm also being carried out, I'm mumbling things. Like, I'm not sure what, my hallucinations may be pertaining. It could be pertaining to energy that just smacked me in the face. Or so this be... energy that smacked you in the face is something that induces, that is inducing you, something euphoric in you. Oh, that's not good. <laughs> Trix is finally feeling good for once. Yeah. So, like so maybe it's are so like maybe it's against it. So maybe it's like a situation where it's uh, I don't know if you've watched Altered Carbon yet. No. Yeah, there's a situation of a, of a hallucination in there where a person's like 
like they feel good because they're they're killing somebody in it <laughs> but they were oh. in a situ in a, in a compromised situation before so they it makes them feel powerful that's that's not good so maybe your hallucination makes you feel better now for the moment oh. at least oh so it's cathartic vis-a-vis her murderous tendencies yeah <laughs> it's a cathartic murdering spree. Yeah. Okay. Um, so uh, Sierra was able to get tricks out, and uh, Don, Don, are you you pulling you pulling Riley out of the area as well? Yeah. Okay. So you He's guys, like, come on, Buster! I'm like, scary Buster! Scary me, Buster! Wake up! Wake up! I can't carry you, you fatty. <laughs> Rude. So rude. <laughs> wow. <laughs> you know, you have to live with her afterwards. You realize this, right? <laughs> um, I'm the, ironically, I'm the chonky one, and Buster's the one that's like always hitting the drum. That works. Yeah. So you get outside, Trix, you are slightly still kind of groggy. Uh, Riley, you are now awake. Um, you're just you're still going to take some minus ones for for now uh and i'll let you know when it kind of wears off a little bit um what do you do is buster now able to stand on her own yes okay i'm i'm gonna go back for josh (sighs) okay (laughs) we need an ally in this i tell buster i'm like stay with me buster we need someone that knows the way we need to get josh he thinks i'm a god this could work for us, okay? Can we find Wendell instead? <laughs> Is Wendell around? Not off, there. There's no one outside. Everyone's in, like in, in in there. Okay, Buster. You know, every time people think I'm a god, it works out. So I need to go back in there and get Josh. I go back in there and get Josh. Okay. You as you walk in, you see again that red light. But it does, you, you kind of push against it and you walk inside. It doesn't f- affect you. Sweet. And you just, and everything is just kind of f- flowy. You, it's almost like you're walking through like some kind of molasses But you're still walking through everything. It just kind of has that feel. So you can get downstairs. Roll me a bad situation again. I don't know how I'm doing this because I never roll well. Bad situation is plus cool or plus sharp? Plus sharp. Okay. Uh, eight, uh, 10 total. Okay. Um, so that would be eight? three. Yep, that's fine. I, I believe you. <laughs> Victoria doesn't believe me because I, I roll horribly. <laughs> so that would be three holes. So you can ask me three of those questions. Oh, sweet. This is from bad situation, yeah? Yep, bad situation. <laughs> uh, are there any dangers we haven't noticed down at the bottom there you notice that marie is standing back up oh. and she's looking she's turned off looks like she's turned off the uh the fire and is kind of looking through the ashes and looking at, at that pineapple uh, um what's most vulnerable to me Um, how do you want to interpret that? Not what is most relationally vulnerable to me, because that's my friends getting hurt, but what is most physically dangerous to me and the team? What's most dangerous to you right now is Marie and you catching her unawares. So right now she's paying attention to what's going on in that fire pit. Okay, can I use my third hold to pierce the proverbial veil and see Marie for her true monster self, maybe? Listen here, buddy, it's not masks. <laughs> <laughs> so it'd be one of, those, uh, one of those questions on there, actually. Okay. Like, I'll, I'll, I'll fit <laughs> What's it to the, the biggest fit- threat. Well, I mean, that would right there oh, in no, that situation. Asked. Yeah. In that situation yeah, would be Marie. Mm-hmm. 
Yeah, what, uh, yeah, uh, what, are, what dangers have we not noticed? The danger you haven't noticed yet is are you sneaking up on her or are you just kind of, have you just entered in? I've just entered in and it's one of those like Ron Burgundy in the bear, tr in the bear pit. Like I immediately regret this decision, but I'm also here to save Josh. Okay. So she hasn't, uh, she hasn't noticed you again. She's got her back to the door. She's like searching through the ashes. Um, the fact that she turned off the fire so quickly and she's got her hands in the ashes of, of a fire. She just turned out should be, should be something that you should pay attention to. Oh. Oh. Okay. She's me. She's immune to fire. She's looking through fire. She's a fire. She's a fire being. She's a fire demon. Uh, can I investigate a mystery? You're going to need a bit more time, Nasser. Yeah, we're I'll gonna, pass the spotlight. We're going to go. Yeah. Hey, all right. So, yeah. you guys, you're outside. You just saw Don go back inside. What are you doing? Am I still unconscious? No, you are waking up now. You're kind of. But you are going to take a uh, tight minus one ongoing for your rolls for now. Cool, 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 cool. Great, 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 great. Um, can I try to use the site now? Yeah. I'll, I'm, I'm going to want to try that since, you know, I did just get punched in the face by a red light and it didn't seem so fun. Okay, let's I don't know about cool. you, but it seemed a lot of fun to me. Yeah, I got a 10. Nice. But I have a plus one for that, but it would be a minus one. So I just end up with the 10. Hey, that works for That's me. Good. So what, what is it that the spirits on a, on a 10 plus do? Okay. For a 10 plus, it doesn't say anything for a 10 plus. It just says like, I will be able to see things, but I have to go to investigate a mystery. Do, 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 do. Um, I just want to know what is it because that's not normal. Okay, so so I'm guessing you're gonna probably gonna go off to the side, get up to the fountain, maybe. And how do you commune with these spirits usually? Um, more of just like it's a a state of just like calmness, and it's like I'm holding a conversation with like a friend. Okay. So, like, it's happened enough that I understand what's going on between myself and them. All right. Um, so, this, like, just kind of weird energy that only you can see, right? Just kind of yeah. sits down and just kind of sits next to you. Just kind of puts his hands on its knees. So, <laughs> what do you ask it? I want to ask it, does it know where Jonah is? And it just kind of points to... Uh, in between the areas, you can tell it's a third island behind you. I'm sorry. Give me one second. She's communing with the spirits. <laughs> I had to throw a pair of scissors. Okay. <laughs> like, leave me alone. <laughs> nah. Um, so I'm communing with the spirits. And you said they just point it to an island for Jonah? Mm hmm That's unhelpful. Can I ask them what the heck Marie is? You know, the, the, in the description there, does it say they speak to you in words or? I'm sorry. Um, yeah, let me see. <laughs> oh. It just says you may communicate with the spirits you see and they give you more opportunities to spot clues okay and that's the thing is this is what how you want to do it how do you, you as you as a spooky you want to communicate with the spirits i want to hey, like, just... can i make a suggestion do yes, you remember no. uh the seance from umbrella academy mm. could it be that maybe you communicate with people who have died there Good, good. Yes. I want to ask the spirits about like people who've had to like, who've also been a part of this sacrifice before. 
and like what's happened to them because sacrifices okay. usually people end up dying it's a sacrifice well, that's not good sorry my power just went <laughs> um spirits are angry the spirits are angry <laughs> they're angry um so you don't notice any spirits that are walking around there are spirits but they're kind of just like they're still walking but they're not anything they're just kind of spirits that are normally out in the world there's nothing angry about them nothing specific about them yeah okay uh that's fun that's cool that's cool that's cool um am i able to see maria from where i'm standing no everyone marie and don are inside the actual dome itself okay so i'm outside of the dome yep, so you're i can't outside, outside of the dome yeah it would be a bad idea to go back inside the dome when it probably for you yes mm, that's cool that's cool that's cool can i go into like an avatar state where <laughs> <laughs> well i'm like in the in the spirit realm so i'm outside of my physical body so that i can go see to where marie is and try to communicate with whatever that red light is let's see what okay so while you're sitting there trying to commune with the spirit sierra what is your you're doing i'm just i'm just guarding these two and watching out uh, kind of listening to see if they're on Sounds like he's in, in trouble. Mm -hmm. yeah, like so. Okay. Yeah. What about, call, what about, what about you, Ryan? Call Sierra. Can I call Sierra over and be like, come get Josh, come help me. Yeah. Okay, right. cool, yeah. So you head on over. Riley, what are you doing? You're kind of, you've shaken off what's been going on to you, but what do you do? I've shaken off and I'm trying to figure out how to get Jonah over to this island. And so I'm wondering if I need to go with Dawn and see if we can kind of manipulate Marie to get Jonah here. Okay. Yeah, if you, if you want to head back inside, you can. Okay. Trix, you're coming with us because we can't leave you. <laughs> I'm still trying to talk to the spirit. <laughs> okay. uh. I don't want them to like because I feel like if I go back in there, I'm going to be out again, and I'm going to be back in my hallucination of I'm murdering people, but I'm happy. So I don't want to go back in that. So I'm going to try to keep on trying to access my avatar state outside. Okay. I was also affected, so I will follow Sierra really closely so I can't, like... <laughs> All right. So you two head in. Uh, Sierra, you also pass through that, bar that red barrier, and you, you, you go right in. Uh, Riley, I want you to roll me another cool. Okay. Eight and my cool is... So I'm at a nine. Okay, so it'd be an eight. You're, you're kind of, again, you're, you've kind of, your head just, oh, off to the side. <laughs> Sierra, you, you notice that Riley just kind of just, passes out again off to the you know, she's just kind of up against the wall but i'm okay i'm okay okay you, you're I'll still on your feet you're, you're on your feet you're they're gonna take another neg you know you're a minus one still so you you three went back inside you see marie sifting through like the the ashes of the fire that are some of the coals are still kind of red what do you do I call to Buster and I make some mention about um, a school bully that in high school we would goad into getting him to do what we wanted. So pull a Flash Johnson and Marie and piss her off and get Joan over here somehow. He's our mark. We don't get paid if we don't take care of Jonah. And I ordered a bunch of stuff on Amazon. <laughs> We're in the negatives right now. We need to get paid, so we need to take care of Jonah. I'll go get her. Well, I'm carrying Josh. Like, the way that I see it is, like, Josh is, like, reeling in ecstasy, and I have his legs, and, like, Sierra oh, has you, like, you, his arms. So, 
Josh is still on the ground next to Marie down at the bottom of the pit. You haven't got one. You're okay. at the top. You're at the top. So it's like this, like one big stadium. Gotcha. Scene. So well, remember I had said that I had jumped into the pit. Like, oh, this is a bad idea. Oh, and okay, that's what you meant. Yeah, okay, yeah, that's and, fine. And she had not seen me. Was the oh yeah, that works. Yeah, she. Yeah, sure? she didn't okay, see cool. You. All right. You just so kind of like. Yeah. Yeah. Exactly. All right. Yeah, and I'm like picking up Josh, and I'm screaming at Buster. I'm like, get her to get Joan over here. Yeah, and I'm like getting Sierra, maybe like passing on Josh if it's like an actual pit. Like, God, he's happy for a skinny hippie. <laughs> I'm like, okay, cool. Yeah. So you gave Josh to Sierra. Yes. Okay, you're still in the pit. <laughs> Unfortunately, yes. <laughs> Unfortunately, yes. Can so suddenly, I want you to roll me act, act under pressure there, Don. Now that, <laughs> yeah. you, now that you've... Very much under the, pressure. Josh, I am yeah. really regretting getting Josh because he's way heavier than he looks. Sweet. Five plus cool. Yeah. Which is a six. So, nope, I failed. And you just like, you, you hand off Josh and you go, hold on, I need to get my shoes. And you turn around and Marie is there <laughs> with your shoes. <laughs> and she now has this dead serious look on her face. And she says, who the hell are you? He's the chosen one. <laughs> so, um, does she say that in a way that's like she's dropped the mom act? Or? Oh, she's dropped that mom act, yeah. She's just like, she's got like yeah, a rough it's... sound to her voice. That like the, yeah, this is not someone you mess with voice. Mm. It, does her voice sound like otherworldly? Or is it still just, nope, a, just a, a still person, older woman? Please. Okay, cool. Um, I immediately will go into this this number and uh, essentially do do what I do best, which is to try to get her to fool that I really am some sort of um, uh, medium. Okay, and I will try to manipulate her into okay. believing that this is going to be tough. Um, however. I know that she's supernatural, and so I would like to use that knowledge uh, to get her to think that like we're equals. Uh, and so hopefully I'm rolling a plus one because of that, because I'm acting on information I have. Yeah. Okay, cool. All right. Harold Snake. <laughs> Don't luck has run out. It was an opportune time. Is yes this your card? <laughs> <laughs> Want you to roll me. Uh, actually, no. You're gonna. You rolled so badly on that one. You're going to get. You're seriously going to get a punch in the face. Bam. Nice. And it's. Awesome. <laughs> it's. You're gonna take one harm. So you're going to get knocked back to the point where it's like 20 feet up the stairs. Oh. oh. Okay. Um, and she's now stomping, stomping towards you. Uh, I asked, okay. who the hell are you? Okay, I'm going to turn to the team and be like, you guys, I don't think she's all that she seems. Um, I, can, I get, can I get picked up and like like I'm just I mean I'm I'm dead weight. I don't I have a glass jaw. So Yeah, let's do that. So yeah, she's got she's got a hold of you. Sweet. The rest of you, you just got saw you just saw Don get get the snot beat out of him in one punch by this old old, you know, 70, 80 year old woman. Uh spirits not like it. No, spirits not like it. Mm. Sierra? Well, I'm gonna try to smash her face with the butt of my shotgun. Okay, so you're gonna just run up and, and 
and try to smash it, smash your, smash yeah. your face. Okay. Wouldn't um, be the first time I had to smash an old person in the face. So. That's fine. All right, roll me a kick ass. Kick smash. Kick ass. That would be a tough roll. Oh, okay. Let me slide over here to my. Oh. Oh, okay. Hold on. This is going to be embarrassing. Where'd my dice website go? Here it is. Oh, 10. Nice. Sweet. All right. So it's on that on that list. You get an extra effect that you can choose. Ooh. Oh. Yep. Yeah. So you can take plus one forward on your next on your next turn, or you can give that to to the next hunter that does something towards them. You can inflict an extra harm, suffer yeah. less harm, or force them to where you want to be. Oh. Want them to be. Can I like knock her back down the thing so that? Yeah. Well, will she drop him if she did that? Yeah. Yeah, he might take some harm along with along the way, but yeah. Yeah, that's all right. He deserves it. <laughs> yeah, that is true. That does kind of deserve it. Super deserve it. Yeah. That's fine. You just like you run down. You run down the stairs and you go pow, right next to right next to Don. Don, you see the butt of your you know your sister's shotgun just go right past your ear, which kind of clips your your ear a little bit because she's just not very careful when it comes to you. She just doesn't respect you like she should. It's well earned. Um, the Marie just gets knocked right in the face and. But what's really funny is that all you see is her head just go, you know, but she kind of gets knocked back a little bit, lets you go. Oh, sweet. And, but doesn't get, doesn't tumble back. It's like her center of gravity is very good, essentially. She just kind of moves back. Um, now, when I, try, when I try to fool someone into thinking that I do actually have powers, even when I fail... I still get to ask, what are they hoping for right now? So what is Marie hoping for right now? Right now, what she's hoping for, she wants, who, she wants to know who you are and what you're, and what you're doing here. Okay. Riley, you just, you just saw Dawn and Sierra uh, go down the stairs and, and take, on, take on Marie. What are you doing? I think I'm going to use gear. Um, I have a small handgun, okay, and I want to use that to kind of get her attention. All right, rather than them. Are you going to try to shoot her, or are you going to try to just kind of distract? Just distract. Okay, that's fine. Um, that's not anything you really need to roll. You, it's okay. easy enough to just kind of pop, take, pop yep. off. Um, so you just kind of distracted and stuff. What is what is it after that? What do you want to do? Because she takes a look. You do that, and she looks straight up at at you. What yeah. You um, I tell her that we are here for a purpose, and um, yeah, we're here for a purpose, and see what she does with that. So she looks back at, down at you, Don, and says, "That's obviously who I should be talking to." And she just kind of like sweeps you aside, and she starts stomping up the stairs, ignores you, Sierra. And she comes up and she goes, who are you and what are you doing here? Wait, to me? Yes. Oh, just kidding. I thought you were still hanging on. Um, so we are here. Um, we, we want to join, but only with talking to Jonah first. No one talks to Jonah. Not, not actually talks to him. He talks, you talk to him through us. Now, who the hell are you? Why is, why is, why is that, why is that guy the new divine? He is the chosen one. Yeah. Chosen one, my ass. No one, no one becomes, no one becomes the new divine unless they go through Jonah first. Wow. We should check with Jonah. Yeah, I've never, I've never known this guy. He's never studied under Jonah before. So who is he? How uh, it was prior to your knowledge. It's prior to your being prior. around. Right. Trust me. Everyone who's been prior to us is no longer around. Is that true? Roll me a bad situation, Tom. 
I'm at a seven. Sweet. From what you can tell, yes, she is telling the truth. So far, she hasn't bullshitted you, bullshitted you at all, other than with her persona. But, you know, everyone has different personas all the time. Where's the other one? I don't see. Trix, what are you doing? I'm still trying to reach that avatar state outside. <laughs> <laughs> So I'm still trying to like talk, I'm trying to like not bribe the spirits, but like uh -huh. get them to tell me more information about what the heck that red light was. Because I want to go in there, but I know I can't physically go in there or I will have issues. So I want to get in there Okay. in my spirit form. All right. <laughs> what, what kind of power, what kind of moves did you use? Did you, did you choose? I... I have the tongue sucker. <laughs> <laughs> that was a look. <laughs> I have the telepathy, the sight, and jinx. So I can okay. jinx somebody into getting in a bad situation. Let us do the slide again. Okay. So we're going to, there are people in this. If you want to stand up and walk around, you can. Um, the areas around, um, Around this dome is pretty big. It's a big square. There are people around this area. They kind of gather these these spirits around around this square. It's okay. like this light is gathering them. Um, the information you're getting from them is it is still it's a euphoric light for them. They feel good when they get close to it. That's what makes me unhappy. Is that it makes them too happy. Oh, that's not a good. I want to try <laughs> to figure out how to get in there without getting hurt. So can I use the spirits that are around me to like make a barrier of some sort? As far so as you can, can, as far as you can tell, the the spirits aren't going in. They're just kind of like. Uh. <laughs> <laughs> Like uh, like like when everyone in uh, in uh, Big Hero Six like went up to Baymax and just like tried to dry off. <laughs> oh yes, <laughs> the loving um, warmth. Yeah. So I know the extent of Trix's powers. So you can talk to spirits, and then what else can you do? I can talk to spirits. I can go into people's brains, and I can like I can make a, a coincidence happen that's in my favor. Okay, so. I want to yell to Trix. Like I'm still outside the dome. I'm not even in there, my friend. But I can. But I can use. Like we can see outside the dome and communicate. No, it's, it's, an, it's an opaque dome. It's it's you can't see in it. Mm. It's a physical okay. dome. It's like you know, but you can't see. You have to go through the portal. You know, go in through the doorway and stuff to get inside. So I have okay. no idea what's happening inside the dome currently. Other than you heard a gunshot. Yeah. I heard and you that go, for sure. that would be Riley. Hmm. <laughs> okay. So I would like to add to the fiction and see if you allow this. Um, Trix and I, um, again, we are like partners in that like I fake that I have powers, right? And so I, through the dome, you said it's opaque, but we can still see through each other? Or no, 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 it's, it's, it's a total so solid dome. I mean, you can't see through it. It's not transparent in any way. So I can't communicate with Trix because she's outside of the dome? Yeah, that's correct. Okay, Unless, uh, since, but... since Marie is no longer preoccupied with me, can I make maybe eye contact with Beatrix through the dome entrance? Sure. Are you at the dome entrance? You're kind of like... Yes. Tricks? Yes. And I scream out, run C-3PO and Luke Skywalker. Which she will hopefully know is to make something fantastical happen to make me look like a god. <laughs> like in Return of the Jedi. So you're wanting me to use the spirits <laughs> that are around to make it look like that you're really communicating yeah. with Tell me. the Ewoks that if you don't do what we tell them, <laughs> you will make their god very angry. 
<laughs> so I'm going to try, I'm going to open the door for the spirits and hopefully that entices them to want to go in there more. Okay. Will the red light hurt said spirits? I guess you'll find out. I want you to roll me a magic roll. That's fun. That's fun. That's fun. Okay. <laughs> okay. Um, just before you roll, my goal is to like, essentially make the people believe like i'm unleashing my power make them believe even more that i'm a god and sort of turn the people onto um onto marie so that she feels the weight of like oh i better call jonah like we're not telling you like we're yeah i get what yeah. you're saying yeah. okay cool cool okay yeah okay let's hang on can i interject so while she's doing that i see what don is like looking at tricks and so I start to engage with Murray again and try to manipulate her into believing that, once again, that Dawn is the chosen one. And so can I roll on manipulation? Uh, on, on to Marie? Yes. Yeah. Hold on one second. Let's go with tricks first real quick. Okay. I rolled a five, but I have a plus two. So it's seven. That would be actually a six. You got one uh, minus one on going right now. Dang, I do have that, don't I? <laughs> you do. So you you do you do. Oh, not, I can use. Can I? Use my yeah, luck? you can use your luck. If I'm you want. gonna use my okay. luck. <laughs> so you do open up a do open up this weird portal and and uh, that only you can see. But all these spirits. It's like it opens up this euphoric portal for them, and they are like rushing this hole to get inside, and they're just like constant <laughs> going in. You start feeling this weird. Uh, sorry, Don. You, Don, you start feeling this weird, like weirdness just around you, and you figure it's tricks telling something yeah. to do something to happen, right? Yeah. Sierra. You, you're starting to see some kind of fuzziness around, around Don. What are you doing? Fuzziness. Like, yeah, he's doing something like that. Like he's he's, he's pulling he's pulling his his god thing again. Okay. Uh, you know what? I'll try and I'll try to help out. I'm gonna I'm gonna go down on my knees there. And, <laughs> okay. You know. I'll have the old roll of help out in just a second. Riley, what are you doing? So I have engaged with Marie again, and I'm trying to manipulate her into seeing that he's a chosen one. Okay. So I can roll and manipulate. Yep. Sweet. I'm at a nine. Okay. Yeah. Um, so with everything going on right here, you're going to be able to get that as a 10. So what do you say exactly? Um, I kind of just direct her attention. So like, here's the look at him and see his ways. <laughs> she turns around and sees Dawn just kind of floating in the middle, middle of air and just like, Ah, 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 ah. Don, you're just kind of getting bashed back and forth, and you're just uh huh. Oh, oh yeah, like a car dealership is like, having a sale. Yeah, just. in the, in in the total, you know, Beetlejuice, like the two, you know, the, the you know Alec Baldwin and the oh, and Delia comes out. You know, she's like, oh God, get a room, you know, and it's just and Marie just like wait and she's just looking around at everybody because this is something that's now just like she does not jump get down on her knees like everyone else but this is now changing things for her her pers personality has now changed she's like okay wait 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 wait, wait. all right all right hold all right come and she looks at you don and says what, what what's your name again? It was Riley, correct? Are you the one in charge? Don, you you can't you don't know what the hell's going on. Yeah, you got no, wailing, wailing of the wailing of the ghosts in your ears. You can't hear. Uh, a we damn thing. we follow the chosen one. Okay. <laughs> uh, okay. I I need. Why is Jonah bringing someone else in? Oh. Damn it. 
Okay. All right. I need to get you over there, I guess. Get him down before everyone wakes up. <laughs> Whoa. Am I some? Do I hear that? I've entered that. I've entered inside the dome, right? Huh? You can hear from outside, but yeah, if you enter inside the dome, you're gonna probably you're gonna have to roll it again. I'm not uh, entering inside, but I heard her say that, right? Yep, you did hear that. Yeah, I'm yeah. gonna I'm gonna ask all the ghosts to kindly exit out the way they entered. <laughs> be like, so your experience has ended. Please, please <laughs> inside the vehicle. This is the exit. Thank they're very you. they're very euphoric. Once you're once they're inside, they're not hearing you. They're just as catatonic as you were while you were inside. That's not great. So nice. Don, you're stuck for now. <laughs> I'm sorry. Jane, and you're welcome. Get me off this crazy thing. <laughs> Be right back, okay? Let's go take a uh, just a really quick break because we're running okay. running a bit late. So, okay, cool. So, uh, Don, you're kind of being tossed back and forth by these ghosts. Uh, it is lessening a little bit. They're kind of starting to float away, and you see bodies kind of being moved around as they're floating. You see, kind of messing around. They're you're now dropped to the to the stairs. And Marie okay. says, come here, come with me. Okay, before we move, I am I want to get the people to go with us. So tell me how far away I am from the benches, and can I wake them, wake them up like I did my friends? Not these ones. They're completely out. You would have to, you would have to get them out of the area and uh marie's likely not going to let you do that okay um can now you can were able, have, you were able were able to get josh outside sweet okay now is the time to cash in on on josh and Wendell. can we get them to come now and be like eh, i want to tell them when, something wendell when wendell's on, on the stairs somewhere in there oh shoot okay so we only have josh you only have josh okay so I, you know, I follow Marie, and the minute I say Josh, I make a beeline for him, and I'm like, "Your purpose, Josh, he has come. It's time to meet Jonah." He's and he's kind of a little bit still out of it. What, Jonah? We're going to meet Jonah, Josh. It's time he's to meet not, Jonah. He's not supposed the, to be here till next week. Oh, we're going to him. The spirits demanded you must what? come. Why would we go? I'm not useless. I'm not. You have a great purpose, Josh. The spirits demand it. Leave. And Marie kind of turns to you and says, leave him alone. He's staying here. I look at her dead in the face and I say, I would not dare defy the spirit's wishes. All right, his funeral. Come on, let's go. Are all of us coming, or is it just Dawn? Uh, she she wants all of you. Good, because it's along. just Dawn. He's dead. <laughs> oh, for sure. <laughs> so she's leading you to another part of the island. Everyone again is is either in that tent or or outside. It's now dark. Um, and to the one shack near the water's edge um, that is unique amongst all of the rest. It is not decked out in any kind of artistic way. And it actually has a padlock on it. So she goes in, she pulls out, she pulls out a key and she unlocks it. And it actually has like a motorboat, one of those like trolling motorboats. Uh, she, and she goes, get in. Let's go. Does it look equal uh, to the other like boats that they keep here, or does it seem like one level up? Okay. It's yeah, it's just a, you know just the kind of stuff you would see on a lake. You know, some uh, big enough for it to hold to hold several people. You see crates in it as well. It's just it looks like one that's you know used to go between places. It's just one that's behind a padlock for some reason. Um, is there any way for me to talk to Josh without Marie hearing? No, it's a pretty close, close boat. Okay. 
Um, but yeah, she kind of just like uh, another another unique thing about this one is that it's you know this is probably the most sign of technology you've seen. It's not it's not a not a yank. It's a you know you put the key in and it turns on. So it's a technologically advanced motorboat, essentially. Comparatively. Compared to the rest of the island. And it takes off and she's, you know, driving it towards the island that tricks that that spirit um, pointed The towards. one that it pointed towards. Is this the same spirit that I went into Wendell's mind and he was like, that's where the useless people are? Or is it the same one where the cattle was? This is... You never saw that island? Oh, that's true. I never yeah. did. Wendell wasn't very helpful with that. Hey, he was plenty helpful. He was helpful, but like, was he? He was. Now, um, <laughs> read me a bad situation. Oh, fun, 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 fun. Do I have to roll for said bad yes. situation? Oh, yep, that would be a sharp. Mm -hmm. Yep, of course. Oh, am I still at my minus ones? Yes. Of course, okay. <laughs> oh, this isn't actually that bad. So at six and a three, I have a nine. I would have a plus one, but a minus one, so I just have nine. Okay. Uh, so what, ask me just one of those questions on there, on that list. Um, hmm. What's the biggest threat currently while we're going to this undisclosed island that we know nothing about besides that Jonah is there? The biggest threat so far, obviously, is Jonah. You don't know anything about him. That is um, true. We know nothing about But the fact man. that Marie now has a very business-like, you know, just kind of uh, attitude towards everything now. Mm. Like, she's lost her motherly. She's lost her kind of shaman -y thing. It's very, like, what the hell is going on? She needs information. She And she's taking you to this kind of dark island. Um, the island you left has torches everywhere. Um, if you look to your right, you, you, know, you see another island that has not as many torches, but the island you're headed towards has none. Okay, 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 okay. That's not great. Okay. Uh -oh. <laughs> Okay, um, so you get over there. It only takes you again. The, the spaces between these islands are not that big, um, so it only takes like ten minutes or so to get get across from uh, from each other. Um, and she pulls up into another dock, just like this one. Um, this other one is isn't locked from the outside, so it's just kind of open. Uh, she says, "Let's go." Um, on on the. But right there, I'm super trying to sell, like, the one. Yeah, like, I've asked the others to, like, join me in prayer, and I'm, like, doing the rocking thing. And, and she just ignores you, she, and she's walking towards what she knows looks like she knows what she's doing, and she's, like, walking up. She's about maybe 100, 200 feet ahead of you now. But she's kind of doing this weird, like, walking snake-wise way. Like a back and forth, like serpentine, serpentine. Okay. What Rickon should have done. No. <laughs> Man, people are going to um, like downvote me everywhere on this. <laughs> um, I'm, I'm again trying to find some sort of relational weakness before her and like between her and Jonah. Mm -hmm. And I would like to act on the information that I had before that she seemingly feels as Jonah's, um, what's, what's the word I'm looking for? Like, just yes man, I guess. Mm -hmm. And so I want to commune with the spirit and essentially fake this conversation that, um, that like I'm defending her to the spirits that she actually is a like very willing acolyte um, uh, to try to like again play play up that that tension and kind of go to her. Okay. So when you catch up to her, I I want your 
I want you to roll me another read bad situation for me first. Seven plus cool. Sharp. Sharp. Nine. Okay. Um, or pl- oh, plus one because I'm acting on yeah, so info yeah. I had before. Okay, ten. So you're going to notice a couple of things around you first. You do catch up to her. Now, a couple of things that you do notice around you. Everything's dark, though. Um, the, you do see some homes around you. They're very, like, ramshackle. Like, these places should have been condemned years ago, kind of, homes. And you do see people. With, but they're kind of, and these are the people that you noticed, Trix. Where the clothes are run down, there are holes everywhere, they don't have shoes, they're people from all colors, all stripes, all ages, old, young, um, kids, everybody. Um, and they just kind of stare at, at Marie and they're staring at all of you because you obviously don't belong on that island. The second thing you notice, Don, is that there is a lighthouse <laughs> off in the distance. Mm. The third thing you notice is that this, this island and this town itself does not have a dome like it did on the other one. So, now what is it that you wanted to do? I want to manipulate Marie into um, fessing up about any relational tension that her and Jonah might have. Okay. So go ahead and roll that for me. Okay. Um, again, I am thinking that I'm commuting with the spirits and I'm advocating for her to the yeah. spirits. Okay. And can I roll plus one because I'm acting on information effect? Yep. Eight plus three. Manipulate is cool or sharp? Uh, charm. 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 So plus one. Six, eight, nine, and then plus the other one is ten. Total. Okay. So I she, okay. So you catch up to her and you're like, oh. And what do you say? And she turns around because you you kind of grabbed onto her. Um, I pretend to. See, so I've I've cut up to her. So she's walking right, zigzag, zigzag. Yeah, she she zigzagged. Okay. Yep. Okay. All right. All right. I. I do like the whole way up. I've been like you, you know, and I'm pretending that I'm having a conversation with like this spirit and then I'm having a conversation with this spirit. And then it's like oh, up ahead. And like, I race in front of her and I go her. No, she, she's a willing acolyte. She is another servant. There, there, there is, there is no animosity between her and Jonah. Uh, what, what Jonah Jonah thinks she's just a tool. That's not true. She's one of us. She's she's clearly a servant of of Chavez. And someone corrects me. Chavez, Chavez. Like clearly, she's she's you know the, the, she doesn't. She's not angry at Jonah. How could you say that? No, please forgive me. Something like something like that. Okay, and she she kind of comes up to you and just kind of grabs you by the back back of your clothes, like lifts you up right, and takes you behind in an alley. She you you three like notice this and just notice that Don got into some more goddamn trouble. I'm sorry, I really apologize for that. More trouble and just like gets dragged into an alley off to the side, and we'll come back to you in just a second. What do you what do you guys do? Because he ran off on his own, apparently. I kind of want to read one of these people who are just in this village. Because, you know, I like to read people because I don't trust them. I want to know what's going on in their brains. Okay. So I'm just going to find, like, a random person. Not, hmm. 
I don't want to uh, like a young adult. So somebody who'd be around my age because they might know more than like a child would, hopefully. Okay. So I want to read one of them. Yeah, I right, go ahead and go and go. You know, you can just kind of go up to somebody. Do I have to roll? Please say no. Mm, yeah, yeah, you do have to roll. <laughs> okay. <laughs> I shouldn't have rolled. I rolled a four. <laughs> So once again. And that was with your minus one? Nah, with my minus one, I rolled a three. Okay. So here's what I'm going to give you a choice. Okay. Is I'm going to, you're going to, you're going to get the full effect of what you want to know. Hmm about what's going on on this island right now through your skimming. But that is it. Your telepathy is burned out. I've used it like 12 times. <laughs> I know, but, you're, it's but, it, but it's burned out and your magic is going to be just on the fritz, essentially. Nice. Okay. Or you're not going to suffer any backlash from, from this. Okay. So I just, I'm not with my powers now. Yeah, so it's up to you. I'm going to give you the choice. So it's either I get all the information, but... Get, uh, well, you're going to get information that you want right now. Yeah. But you're, you're but done. Can't and that's do it. Anything. Yeah. Your move is burnt out right now. Or I get hurt by it. Or you get hurt by it, yeah. I already got one hurt. But... We're near an end I, game. Yeah. yeah. But if I... Get burnt out. That means I can't use my jinx? No, no, you can't use your telepathy. Oh, again. okay. I'm just going to get burnt out. Then All right. Might as well just do that. Yeah. That's fine. So you go up and you grab onto the first, you know, the first person. You just like grab onto him, knock him next to a, knock him next to a wall and just be healed. Bam. Right. The, <laughs> you're like, I'm tired of this. And you grab onto their forehead. Right. <laughs> And just like slam them up against the wall. Um, what is it that you want to know from this? I want to know, like, so with all of this, we know that they're classified as useless. And Jonah lives on here and there's a lighthouse yep. that I'm assuming does not produce light since when we came here, there was no light. Correct. Okay. I want to know if, like, what information that this specific person knows about said lighthouse okay so what you know uh, from skimming from this guy's mind and you're you realize this uh his name is graham hello um, graham <laughs> hello graham like i'm just kind of go through your head <laughs> um that lighthouse is where jonah lives mm. and that's where he goes to every night that's where he comes out of in the mornings um he always comes back to this island every day doesn't matter. If he goes to visit one of the other islands, he always comes back here to, every night. That seems like there's some strong forces that's going on with this island for him to come back to this specific nothing island. Yep. Thanks, Graham. You've told me a lot. Yep. What else do you want to know? Um, what else would there be good for me to know? Oh, biscuits. Not sure. What what makes them oh that's that's a good thing. What is the weaknesses that this said person might know for Jonah? <laughs> for Jonah? Um Well, you don't as far I mean here okay, so here how am I gonna put this? So you know that everyone thinks that they're useless. Mm. One thing that you do know, you realize is now, as you're sifting through his mind, through Graham's mind, you're starting to realize more and more about how each of the islands are working. You know that about the sacrifices on that first island you were at. The sacrifices on that island are all about the, about the artistic. You sacrifice something that you make. Something that is, something that you do. Um, something, something beautiful. Um, that 
on the on the island of the farming, obviously you sacrifice an animal, you sacrifice, you know, something agricultural. Um, oh no! On the oh, island no. of the people. On the on the island, the useless. People. There's nothing to sacrifice. But here's the thing: is that everyone else thinks that they're useless, but they know that they are. They're the only ones that give the true sacrifice. No. They give of themselves. The sacrifice is people! <laughs> Hence why Jonah continuously comes back, because I'm fairly sure he's using their sacrifices to gain more power. Jonah is a... Mm, he's not a normal person. He's a bad man. Well, we already knew that. We had to kill him. Like a vampire sucking their energy or something. Yeah, pretty much that. What else but like do you want instead, to know? murdering them. Um... Well, that answered my question about why they're considered useless. Because, well, no, they're useless. They come here with no skills, and they can't make anything. They've all they've done is sat. You know, all they do is sit on their phones, been back in their old life. They don't know anything. What? Mm. <laughs> it's people. Good, 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 good. Uh, so you you blast back out, uh, and yeah, <laughs> Graham falls to the ground because you totally just like <laughs> you're just like you've got the, just the most ginormous headache ever, uh, completely. But you've got the information you need now. Yes, I'm gonna Sarah. go run back to Riley and explain to her what I've just. Yeah, Riley and Sierra. Yeah, uh, Riley and Sierra. You two, you two is gone. Riley and Sierra, you saw Beatrix went off and you saw her do her thing. Uh, and you saw Dawn go off. On, what are you guys doing, though? Can I investigate a mystery? Yeah. And find out what can hurt Jonah? Yeah, go ahead and roll it for me. Okay. Oh, 11. My shark. I'm at a 12. <laughs> Excuse me. Okay. Now that Trix is back, she tells you everything that you, that she knows. Um, and you're just kind of realizing a little bit that obviously that the, the people are the sacrifice. So you got to get the people away from Jonah in some uh-huh. way, shape, you may ask you for any question you want to know about the mystery. What's the best way for us to keep the people away from from Jonah? Well, I mean, think about it in real life. What's the best way for to make someone not feel useless? Not feel well. How do you how do you how do you hit hit someone in the heart spot for a cult leader? Like how do you dethrone? A yeah. Thing? Do you discredit him or her? Yeah, but how do you discredit that person with their own followers? They're cult leaders. I mean, make them believe there's a different person who's stronger than them. That's one and way. And who won't kill them off? They think they're doing. They're, they think they're doing God's work. <laughs> so, convince them the plan has changed. Maybe convince them that you were Jonah. Maybe that I'm the new Jonah. Do, do they know Jonah? Have they ever seen him? Yeah, yeah. Jonah comes along, uh, comes down amongst the people all the time. Crap! So they know how he looks. Okay. Yeah. But so Don, you get pulled aside by Marie. Don, you're getting beaten up. And and she she pulls you and just kind of like like listen, I don't believe your crap, and I don't care about your crap. I don't know where. <laughs> and she just kind of shakes you again. It's like no. <laughs> like I'm listening, but I'm also pretending that like I'm, like listen, you know. listen. Jonah's got a good thing going here. Shut the hell up in front of all these people, okay? 
<laughs> so much, so much anger, so much discord. It's like, I am, I am here now. Okay, so now I have her attention one-on-one, -on -one, okay? Yeah. Right? Mm -hmm. Right? Okay. I'm going to try to convince her that now that I have her one-on-one -on -one and no one is looking at us, that she is meant to take Jonah's place. Okay. Okay. Um, yeah. Yeah. Like she's not meant to be a servant. She's meant to be a leader. And I am her John the Baptist, proverbial John the Baptist. I'm helping her lead her into her new position of power. Yeah. How are you going to do that? I am going to tell her that the, sp that the spirits are the ones who are, who are here. And I'm going to quote um, the fact that there's something supernatural here, that there were spirits that were all around me. And I do that because I know tricks can influence the spirit world somehow. And so I'm going to tell her it's undeniable. You and I both know it. And this is, this is what you're meant to do. So I'm going to like feed her her own BS back at her and tell her that she's, I'm going to hit on that nerve of like, she's not meant to be a, ser a servant. She's meant to be the leader. Well, that obviously is my, that's obviously all our plans, but Jonah's got the supply. Are, are you telling me, why... are you telling me, you know where it's coming from, how he's doing it? But I can only help you if you help me. How do you want me to help you? Well, first of all, this has to stay between you and me, okay? The others, they don't know the full plan. Out of character, obviously, I'm with my friends. I'm not selling out my friends, but I'm like, in character, I'm like, so they don't know. They think that I'm meant to be the leader, but I'm just here as the emissary. So we have to take our plan together. And we have to find the supply because it's the, the supply is the key. Well, he, we, yeah, well, we bring in the crates, he does something to them, and we put it in the fires. I don't know what else, we, do you know what he does with them? I don't know what he does with them, and if you've dealt with the spirits, you know they can be cryptic, but they keep, but they told me that you would lead me to the crates. Yeah, well, fine, they're in his, they're in his lighthouse, let's go. Okay. Where is, is Jonah going to be near them? Because the spirits keep warning me that, that he's prepared and he knows we're coming, so we have to be stealthy about this. At this time of night, he should be in his lighthouse. And the crates are in the lighthouse? Yes. So how do we access the crates without Jonah knowing? You tell me, you Mr. Divine. And she starts walking out. Okay. 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 I have to um, I have to commune with my PIS, my partner in the supernatural. So I go over to Trix and I'm and I'm like, okay, dude, I got her. I need you to do the spirity thing and I need you to ask how we get Dawn away from their power source, because I got the power source. It's in the crates. I'm gonna tell you the power source is the people. He he eating them. He doing something. <laughs> He killing the people. <laughs> um, I'm wrecked by this. I, I want you all to to um, want uh, whoever wants to do it. You can all roll it if you want it. Uh, to read me a bad situation. Ooh. <laughs> oh my goodness! I would like to read a bad situation. I roll very well. <laughs> <laughs> Excuse me, Mr. GM. Mm -mm. <laughs> Do I still get my minus one? Depends. What'd you get? Um, I got an eleven. Okay. So do I still do the minus one? Yeah, I mean it's still fine. You only get you only get something extra in advance if you get a twelve plus. So no, oh, okay. It would be a twelve if I don't have the minus because I have a plus one. That's what I'm asking. Okay. Do I still get my minus? Yeah, that's fine. 
What about yeah. the rest of you? <laughs> um, so just to clarify, uh, she has said, okay, fine, we can separate the crates from, from Jonah the, himself. We just need to come up with a way how, right? Yeah, he, she's, what she said was that the crates are at the lighthouse with Jonah. Okay. Um, could we have a montage moment where we essentially prepare a plan, some sort of hijinks that our team does? Um, I, yeah, and like bring in the whole team together and come up with a plan. I mean, we, that's what we're doing right now. What is it that you want to okay. plan? All right. Exactly. I'd like to bring in Sierra into this because Sierra is the one that is a She got to kill him. Kill him. Mm -hmm. yeah. Take care of yeah. him. Please. Not grenades. Oh, no! <laughs> you just want to blow up the whole thing? <laughs> Wait, how much supply is there, though? If we blow the whole thing up, will like, all of it go across the I don't know. Someone does have some some of the supply. Someone who tends to stumble over things. Oh me? Oops, I found something. Oh no, that's, that's you. Oh yeah. You got the little leaf thing. <laughs> Do your leaf thing. What was that? <laughs> So what it was, was remember if it was just like a bundle of leaves that were kind of put together. So if you want, you can roll me an investigative mystery on it. Just to, just to roll me a sharp. <laughs> See if you recognize it. Oh, I have an 11. <laughs> nice. You kind of look at it and you kind of, huh. You just, and you just, uh, because uh, you're the mundane. <laughs> That's what you do is the mundane. <laughs> yep. And everyone's kind of looking at you. What are you waiting for? Eat it. Okay, I eat the thing. Yeah! Oh, no. I eat the thing! Eat the mysterious plant. Eat the mysterious leaves. <laughs> so the mundane, though. So I find out that they're um, a leaf that I know, and it's a um, biloba leaf. It's special and it turns you into a monster. So yes, fight. I'm able to Jonah. use it to. So I am now essentially Jonah's equal because he's the one that's using all of these powers. Um, or that's what he's using as his supply to do this. So we go find Jonah. Did she turn into a monster? I don't know. Did you eat it? Yeah. Oh, it does nothing to you. Oh, fudge. They're just, they're just gingo by loba leaves. Wow. They're just, he does just... something to them, remember? So... Huh? She said he does something to them. I was under the impression that it turns me into a monster. Nope. No, the leaves themselves don't. The Did leaves. Did she have to, she have to eat a person? <laughs> so you have to. Uh, do you have to? I have to have a sacrifice. <laughs> a person. Do you head to the lighthouse then? We head to no, the lighthouse. No, we need to. Uh, what do we, we need to, to do? What else? We need to there? get the supply. If the we the get to the supply, the supply is in the lighthouse. Right. If we get to the supply, can we be equals with Jonah, and then be able to like fight him on equal footing? You're all you're 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 all the archetypes of what you are. So you are already on equal footing with the monsters. You just have to figure out how to do it. Noise. <laughs> can we weaken Jonah by separating him from the supply? No. Dang. The power of Jonah is essentially the same type of power that 
every cult leader has. The power of personality. What is a cult leader? What would be a cult leader without followers? Is he getting to the core of what everyone wants at their core? Nah, he's just a cult leader. Gotcha. Hmm. Not There's something special about him, but he's just a cult leader. So, if, Is he just very charismatic? Maybe. He's a face that just has a bunch of people following him. He's convinced a bunch of people. How do cult leaders work? This is something I've been struggling with the last couple of weeks. <laughs> what the cult if they, they don't, if they, essentially, if they, right. if, if, if they don't have, like, again, again, you've all rolled well enough that I'm going to give it to you here a little bit, but, um, but essentially, if cult leaders don't have followers, that they are just a crazy guy. Yeah. Okay. Okay. So we have yeah. to, so we have to turn, okay, so we have to turn to people. We have to somehow convince the people to go to another turn, route. To essentially turn, turn away from Jonah. Yeah. Okay. So we need to give them, on this island, they believe that they're useless. So we have to give them... Well, the, the people, people very much believe about what happens every single night. And part of that is what you have in your hand. They think that this, is, this is very special. Oh. They use the leaves. Oh. And burn it. Oh. So is... Oh. Oh. Okay. So the supply is not something Jonah is taking. The supply is something that Jonah is giving people. That's why all of them fell in the trance. And that's why it happens every night. Yes? Yeah. So if we get to the source, then we can feed it to the people. Right? What was that? I have it in my hand. Yep. Does she have We just gotta build a fire! What? Oh yeah, just build a fire. Get all people and build a fire. Use the grenade. <laughs> I got lots of grenades. Exactly. Okay. You, are, get, you, all, you can gotta use get all the magic. people out here. <laughs> I do. We all I have magic. Use magic. <laughs> we all no, can use magic. Grenades. I thought. <laughs> it's magic and grenades. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, the grenades are magical. <laughs> no. Okay, so I ask tricks like you're you're you know I mean you know how like I'm normal and you're you you know is this leaf like you or like me? You're trying to ask me if the leaf is magical or not? <laughs> No one dropped an M word. Okay. I Are you trying to say to is this plant of a higher realm? I'm, I'm saying. <laughs> <laughs> if you eat it, will you die? You know I ain't gonna eat it because I think it's magical. <laughs> you know how I feel about magic. <laughs> What are you not understanding about? We need to get all the people. Build I want to know if she does the rubby rubby thing. Like, is this like? Is a like, genie gonna pop out? Yeah. Oh, like, is this if, like, oh, a like if I try to use special? my sight on it, if I try to use my sight on it, will something happen? Well, out of character, he said at the beginning we can all use magic. Yeah. My character it, is not gonna use magic. Yeah, your character. But like, I'm magic. trying to get you to like, can you use your on it? W- can you figure out how it works? I guess I can try to use my magic on it. Power. My power. Okay, I step back. <laughs> Two big steps back. Oh, wait, you guys get into the you, you guys get into the town square ish, and everyone's kind of just like staring at you because you're all just kind of arguing back and forth in a very easy oh, way. an audience sweet. I find the highest place and <laughs> friends, countrymen. Lend me your ears. And I start trying to, and I'm really hoping that Trix is going to do the ooga da booga Yep, and, and everyone's kind of drawn in by you a little bit. Because again, Don's a little charismatic, yes. What are you doing, Trix? I am going to try to use my sight, I guess, 
to try to, I don't know. Do you want me to use like, okay, you know what? I'm not going to ask the question. You, so yeah. when, it comes, when it comes to magic, you can just roll weird. Yeah. Okay. I'm just yeah. going to, yeah. just going to do Four that. Four score and seven years ago. Oh my I goodness. I rolled dream. an 11 again. Woo! And I got plus two on my weird, <laughs> but I got a minus one. So I rolled a 12. Hey, what are you doing, cat? <laughs> What are you doing? All right. So you said it, you rolled a what? 12? Technically, oh. yes. Okay. So, um, so you roll, you do exactly what it is that you wanted to do. What was it you were trying to do? I'm trying, I guess, he, I don't know what Don wants me to do because he's being weird and sketchy. So he's I'm like, he's he's like, the he's like waving ones. around this like weed, you know, this weed in his hand, right? He's like, yeah. oh, 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 you know, and everyone notices, notices this like bunches of weeds because that's, that's what the shamans use. Yeah. It's all kind of like. <sighs> I'm going to start kind of, a Kind of like a cat, right? You're just like, everyone's kind of like, and you're just like. I, I guess he wants me to light it. It works extremely well. Sweet. And it just kind of goes boom. And that red glow spreads from dawn. It's back again. Yeah. But it's not <laughs> big. It just kind of spreads from dawn around the few people around him. Mm. All right. I, I am now working into like the crescendo of my speech. And I'm talking about um, having a dream and we didn't land on Plymouth Rock, but Plymouth Rock landed on us <laughs> and gather forth my children for my yoke is easy and my burden is light and all that. Okay. I'm just pulling from the best speech. So you, get, you have a few people that have just fallen down and just like are just they're not falling over like they did in the in the square, but they're falling all over you. They're trying to like, it's in like Man of Steel where everyone's like, ah. So it's like how the spirits were earlier. Yep, pretty much. Nice. Okay. You, I think our goal, I think our goal is to like bring down the system here and pipe Piper the people away from the cult leader. So okay. how do we do that? At this point, you're going to need more. <sighs> Fudge. <laughs> That's what I was trying to ask earlier if you wanted me to do like Jesus with the feeding the 10,000 and multiply that amount. But it's on fire. Can I do that with it being on fire? Not anymore. Yeah. <laughs> now it's been burned. That's why I tried to make sense <laughs> earlier, but you were like, the magic. And I was like, I don't know what the magic is. Okay, so can we make it go away? Get to where the supply is. Take the supply, get enough for the whole island, get the you'll have to, to you, follow you'll actually us. have to go to the lighthouse, but yes. Okay. All right. We're back to the other plan. Someone <laughs> make a distraction. Someone <laughs> engage Jonah if he comes out, and then, and then the rest of us steal the plant. Maybe? Yeah. I mean, that's how that's you want to go. It's a beautiful distraction. Just blow some stuff up. Yes, we need Sierra in here to do what Sierra does best. Blow that Psst, sissy. up. Come here. Psst. Sissy. Sissy. <laughs> sissy. Psst. Wow. Psst. I'm standing like right next to her and I'm like, I'm not sick anymore. Sissy. Psst. Psst. So you, you all are now near, near the front of the light, that lighthouse, right? You're all just kind of hiding in here like, Psst. Oh, sweet. Yeah. Yeah. You want me to blow up the lighthouse? Yes. Wait, like Could you just I? go in all well, armor shorts? Are in the you do again. see at the front of the lighthouse, like one little porthole at the top that's lit near the top there. So, and it's just kind of a flickering light. <sighs> okay. I ask uh, Marie where the supply is. Oh, it's inside. There's a storage room on the inside. Crap. Is Jonah up there? Yeah, it looks like he is. And then she points up to that light up, up top. Do we need to? Um, <laughs> I turn to Sierra and I ask her, how many explosives would it take to bring this whole thing down? I don't know, but I, don't we need to do something about his, like, 
followers first? Maybe. Well, I don't know. What's her mission? Check the dossier. All, I, all he, all he doesn't have anything on the dossier other than who it is, but uh, your mission was to take care. Oh, take care of Jonah you. Valentino. By any means necessary. You're supposed By to come rub his feet. Huh? <laughs> You're supposed to come rub his feet. Take care of him. Hey, whatever, he like, however you want to take care of him is fine. Sierra, translate this dossier. What does this mean? What does take care of mean? Really Usually that means to murder someone. Roll all the grenades. Okay. So <laughs> we're, we need to murder rate him. Okay. Well, that's good because Marie is going to be the new leader. You guys. Isn't that nice? <laughs> I'm excited. Oh, I am Marie. I'm too. It's going to be awesome. And so Marie's going to help us. So, Marie, what is the best way? to, you know, if we were to do the will of the spirits and take and eliminate Jonah and put you in your rightful place, what would be the best way to do that? If you're going to take, if, if you could get rid of Jonah, I just don't know how he's taking care of how he's doing the things with his leaves. I, I don't know. You're going to have to... Do you know how he's doing that? <laughs> oh, no. I wish I could help you. Well, then I don't know how I'm going to keep control of everyone here. Who the... I, wh- no. Marie, the spirits have said specifically that me as your emissary... I will have the next thing, you know, I will have that, but first we must take care of Jonah. They're very adamant. Then, then go take care of him and we'll deal okay. with the rest. What is the best way to take care of Jonah? I, I don't know, go kill him. Well, I gotta tell you, the spirits are not against murder. They seem pretty... I'm okay they're... with murder too, obviously. <laughs> have you noticed all the burial um... grounds? Oh shoot! Oh gosh, that's really biting on my conscience. That sucks. Um, oh, we could just keep setting up new Jonas and come back and kill him each time for a reward. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I mean he. Uh, yeah, I want to communicate to the team somehow that like I don't plan on just supplanting Jonah with another bad person, but. I'm trying to get Marie on our side here. So Marie has no Marie has, Marie is like at this point she's not going to go in any further than this. She no. she will very much is looking out for herself and if you're willing sure. to take out Jonah she will take over basically. And Marie has no information on his weakness, his Achilles not, heel. Not, at all. She he she realizes he's got some extra extra oomph to whatever he, she's got and she noticed what the hell's going on with you and obviously you've got Something that's like Jonah. She wants you to take him out. But she doesn't know how Jonah does what he's doing. Sierra, just blow just blow it up, man. Sissy, just go boom. Just launch a couple grenades up there. And yeah. Up, up, up the lighthouse. Yeah. The little people in the bathroom there. Well, that's a, that's a, a pretty, pretty, that's a pretty snipey shot there. She's a professional. Yeah. yeah and she's true. got a luck point. That is true. Yes. And Will you do it that way? Or you want to march in there? What was it, Trixie? You, said? you had a question? Oh. Uh, since Marie thinks that Don has said powers that Jonah has, he has no powers, but he's using my powers to make people believe that. So, existentially, I'm pretty much the one that will have to do the things. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, pretty much. So, so Sierra, you launch a, you launch a couple of grenades yeah. from your RPG? Um, before, before you do that, can you C4 the structure? No, I don't have, I don't have C4. I just have, you have C4. So, I don't have C4. They're all out at Home Depot. Sorry. 
are are luck points used to influence the fiction in a way that like we can say you know we can have that montage moment and we can see for this thing with the luck point yeah it's a bit much yeah, yeah. okay all right oh man and even if then you'd have to get way closer to right now you're kind of in a longer longer range Oh, oh, he has a shotgun, yes? Yes. That's a long range. There's a shotgun. You're going to take, take out the lighthouse with a shotgun? He has a hunting rifle, right? Oh. Here. Me? No, no, I have to have a shotgun and a, and a grenade. Yeah. I was expecting zombies. <laughs> <laughs> Zombies is always a good thing to expect. Yeah. Okay, what is the lighthouse set up? Is it sort of like a narrow, winding walkway type of thing? Or yeah, it just looks like a straight up white lighthouse at the top, and it's not, it's like four stories tall with a regular lighthouse. It doesn't have the light going around right now, um, but there is like a, like a room looking thing at the top. That's where the porthole is. Okay, the only idea I have is Sierra into into the shot because Sierra's a professional and we're waiting by the door when Don comes out of her. We just... <laughs> that's, uh, that's all I have. I don't... <laughs> There's no <laughs> also I... just going in. <laughs> just go in there. <laughs> go ahead and investigate this right. for me. Yeah, let's... Yeah. <laughs> oh, let's... <laughs> Nine. I have a ten. A ten? All right. Roll the five plus sharp is seven. Mine and yours. I have negative one weird that I'm not gonna get near magic. Nope. Um, when you look at you're looking around, you do so only see one set of footprints going in and coming out. They seem to be about the same size. Uh, so as far as you can tell, it's only Jonah going in and out here. Um, the lighthouse is just the lighthouse. There is no, there's no real cracks. You can tell that the grenading, unless you were able to set up in a very weak location, and a lot of them, you're not likely to get to be able to take out the lighthouse with just grenades. Can I use my the sight and try to see if I can get some help from some magical magical things? Yeah, sure. Would you love to speak that thing in a pile? <laughs> what did he say? I am so sorry. No, what did he say? No, it was it was something about sleeping things. <laughs> <laughs> That's fine. <laughs> He is he he is right though the the, uh, the lighthouse is actually a sleeping mimic. No, <laughs> I'm joking. That's funny. Oh, I rolled the good things. So I rolled a nine. Okay, so you 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 open up your your spirit site here, and here on this island though there are a ton of spirits. Yay walking around everywhere and i'm assuming these are the ones who've been murdered yeah well no they're they all willingly sacrifice themselves yeah but they what you do see here though is that they're all walking around towards the lighthouse and you are looking at the the lighthouse and it's like it's a, a almost a beacon the entire thing is lit up um Ooh. and they're kind of you see them kind of marching into this area. Is it a specific area or they're just marching up to the lighthouse? They were kind of marching up the to the plate. lighthouse and they're just kind of like disappearing into the lighthouse, into this like glow of the lighthouse. Can I grab one of them and ask them, just ask them, what, what you doing? What you doing, sweetie? What's going uh, on? Moving on. Oh, that's not good, sweetie. That's not good. 
Um, these poor little things. I, I wanna, I wanna just follow them. Just kind of. Okay. I wanna. You're totally. Yeah. If you, if you fall, you're gonna follow the light. Mm-hmm. Okay. So as you head up, you go, you go to the front door. You can feel. Too late, just guys. This, I'm already there. Yeah. You feel this like sense of glow, just around the lighthouse. Um. So what do you do as you get up to the front door? I want to touch it. I You're going to touch the, <laughs> touch the, 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 the really tall, just white thing sticking out of the ground. And you, and you just immediately, I want you to roll me a weird. Okay, good, good, good. Come on. Oh, it wasn't that bad. I rolled a six, but I have plus two for weird. Okay. Um, so you, you do get knocked back and your sight's gone. Okay. That's but cool. you sense, yeah. <laughs> you sense that this is where all of these souls, all of this energy from everybody being knocked out from all the people being killed on this Island. This is where it's all going, but mm. it's not staying. It's being sent somewhere. That answered my questions and gave me 12 more. Okay. I'm out of my sight now because it got knocked out of me. I'm going to tell the rest of the group, besides Marie, because I don't trust her. Yeah, Marie's not coming in, so she doesn't care. She wants you to take care of things, and she's going to hang back. Where's Josh? (laughs) That's true. Josh is there with you guys. Josh will come along. Good, 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 good. I want him to believe he's about to be what what is exactly that the spirits told me? They're like moving on or something. Yeah, they're moving on. Fulfill his purpose. Yeah, I'm about to tell Josh he's about to fulfill his purpose by moving on. We're not gonna actually let Josh die, but we need him and to he believe just like, it. And he like grabs on the grabs on the dawn. Really? We need him to believe this. Yeah, he totally believes it. He's like, he's enamored completely with Don. He believes everything Don says. We need to tear up some of Josh's clothes. Don, rough him up. Actually, Sierra, rough him up. (laughs) Because we need him to look like he came from this island and he's dressed nicer than everybody else on this (laughs) island. We gotta rough him up a bit. (laughs) The minute Trick says rough him up, Don goes, this is gonna hurt you more than it's gonna hurt me. And... Gives him over to Sierra to rough him up yeah. and closes his eyes. This is never pretty some, when Sierra uh, roughs up tell people. Tell me to beat people up and stuff. <laughs> You're not a thug, but I also don't trust you, and we don't know your job, Sierra. <laughs> you, we Sierra. got brought here Sierra. for you to so take care of somebody. You do also have those couple that couple of people that came along with you. That's true. That's true. We're just gonna. We're not gonna rough up Josh. We're just gonna make him switch clothes to one of the people. There you go. We're gonna say Josh, get naked. We need you to change some clothes. <laughs> so Josh goes. Out. <laughs> oh, <God. laughs> so so Josh and the other guys are all fighting. They're like, no, I need to move on. No, I'm gonna move on. And then they're fighting off in the side. They come back roughed up anyway because they got into a fight. But all three of them now are just kind of like, but Josh feels the best because Don, Don of the River asked him to move on. What do you do? I'm gonna, would it be I, advantageous to get Jonah out of the lighthouse and engage his house? I honestly don't know it. And at this point, I'm going to start making some hard moves if you don't make a, make a choice. <laughs> yeah. can, we, can we send them? We want to fight on our terms. So can we set up an ambush for Jonah out here? Sure. Away from the plant and sure. get, send in the acolytes and convince them to get Jonah out here. Yeah. Okay. What, is that what you're gonna do then? You're gonna. What, do you, what does the team in? think? I'm. I'm. I'm checking with the. I, we're going back into huddle mode. Can we ask one of the people who live on this island how it usually works for the sacrifice every night? So, like, 
because we don't want to just go up and knock on Jonah's door and be like, hey, we got your sacrifice. And he's like, that's not how it works. So can that's we ask? That's his layer. That's his layer. You never go into the monster's layer. That's why we have to it. ask. You get the monster to come out to One you. The the, 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 yeah. when you, when you. When you went into Graham's mind, it works exactly the same way as it as it did on the island when you first got here. There's okay. one big party, not one big party, but one big ceremony. <laughs> Everyone gathers at one specific time and that's where it happens. Um, can we politely knock on the, on the door and be like, hey, Jonah, it's time. Come on down. <laughs> it all happens at the exact same time. So it's already happened. Dang it, it's already happened. Yes. <laughs> Marie, what is going to get Jonah to come out? Sorry, I interrupted. No, it's fine. That's a better question than I was going to ask anyway. Okay. I, I don't. Know. It could be just some, it, it, just a disturbance, you know, in the <laughs> a disturbance. <laughs> someone, I don't know, maybe even strangers on the island is probably one of those things. We're strangers. You're strangers on the island, and you have grenades. <laughs> Perfect. Okay. What do you guys think? We send the acolytes up there. We tell them that they're strangers. Tell them that, that there's someone here claiming to be a, the new divine. That'll get Jonah to come down. And then Sierra. <laughs> <laughs> so anyway, I said. Just, you know, so just anyway, do your I thing. Blasting. <laughs> get the Let's combat woman that. to do her thing, man. Let's do that. Sissy. Do our yeah, do the thing, sis. Yeah, have these have these people go in and tell Jonah there's some strangers here mm -hmm. and they'll take him to them. Okay. And they they're not even lying then, right? Nope. They're not lying. They're telling they Jonah the right. truth. Okay, I'll do that. I'll do that. And Josh just like books it down to the down and if he's in the way when I hit with grenade, you know. Ah <laughs> and he just starts knocking. <laughs> just like constant. Okay, everybody, ambush places. Can we get into ambush position? Bushes. And you start seeing like lights come on as it looks like someone's coming down the stairs, right? Each Sweet. light comes on. Okay, ambush position, ambush position. Go. And you just see this door, just, and you see just a figure in the doorway. And you see just conversations happening, right? And he, you know, kind of goes back in. You see it, like, kind of put a house coat on. And they start walking and Josh running ahead and Jonah's like, and he's just kind of walking. What do you do? Is there some room between them? Yeah. Josh just kind of run, run up ahead of him, you know, probably about 50 feet or so. Cablamo. Grenade. A grenade? Yeah. All right. Yeah. So you launch a grenade. What about the rest of you? I have a nine millimeter. But it has to be of close range. So. Yeah, that's pretty close. What about I'm you, a, Riley? I'm a shoot. I also have a small handgun. Okay. And a pocket knife. Definitely closer range. What about you, Don? I want to save Josh. So once I see Sissy is about to do her thing, I'm like, Josh, get out of the way. All right. Yeah, uh, Sierra, you totally took and just you pull the trigger after you after you Josh gets it far enough away, and it just like poof, poof. you hit your mark completely, and yes. lands right in front of Jonah, and just this huge explosion. He's gonna be fine. Yeah, he really is. He's standing there. His clothes have been ripped ripped apart. And you see the same kind of ethereal red glow around his body. Oh, great. Okay. And he's still walking towards down towards your location, Sierra. Well, there's always magic. Can you break down that barrier with magic? And he just, it, it's like... Well, that wasn't very nice. Actually, it's pretty cool. I see. And he starts, just continues walking towards you. He's not very pressured to get to you, just kind of walking towards you. Okay. Tricks, oh. hit him with the fire. Oh, no. Can I investigate a mystery? 
At this point, no, you have to do a bad, bad situation. Investigators when you have time. Okay. <laughs> they have <their> time. <laughs> okay. I have an eleven. Nice. Okay. <laughs> Pick one, bitch. What is it that you want to know? Well, know how we heard him. Huh? How do we heard him? Um. So the best way you can hurt him, you notice that the clothes that he's is wearing um, like are very close to it, close to his chest. But he did he did stop. Like what what Sierra did did kind of make him make him stutter. But any clothes that he was wearing on top of what he's wearing currently wearing, which is like a nice like white suit that's very skin tight ish, uh, is blown has been blown away. Um, so you, the tricks, it seems like this is the same kind of energy material that's around his body as what you were able to get through last time into that dome. So it is something mystical in a, a, some way, shape or form. And I don't have any other, uh, well, I have jeans. But I don't know how I want to use that because I don't have telepathy anymore and I don't have the sight. So I really can't. It just, well, I mean, you still have the sight. I'm just saying that the, the telepathy oh. was, was something that you, you just failed enough. And I was like, you know what? You're, yeah. It's going to get burned out for now. That makes sense. So, so I do so, still have the sight. Yeah. I don't know how you would want to use it in this situation, but yeah. I don't know either. <laughs> yeah. So anybody can use magic. Can right. I use tricks to... to to blast her, blast them with your thing. Blast them with your, blast them with the light. I don't know how it manifests with you if it's on fire or. Light. So are you, Don? Are you on the other side of uh, side of Sierra? Like, are you guys uh, like yeah. two sides of the road essentially? So if the team broke off into ambush position, I am in the safest spot. Sierra is in the most dangerous spot. Yeah. I'm in, in a bush hiding, and then I imagine Riley and Beatrix are somewhere in the middle. Okay. So, so Sierra, uh, Jonah gets right up, right up to you and, and basically just says, hmm, did Marie send you, did she hire another person? She's right over there. Oh, Marie, how many times have I told you to stop trying to kill me? And you suddenly hear just Marie just book it. <laughs> Booking it? Where is she? Yeah, booking, booking it, it back towards the village. Oh, Marie, you piece of garbage. Ah. <laughs> and Jonah reaches out towards you, Marie, uh, not Marie, Sierra, and grabs onto you. Um, and and hurts you for for two harm, and you start feeling this like this vibration in you. What do you do? All right, I got uh, two armor, uh, so good there. It's more of a like a more of a spiritual ethereal kind of thing. So it kind of uh, it, yeah, it's not anything physical. Okay. You know what? Can I? I'm gonna take my a knife out. Do I have a knife? No, I don't have a knife. I use my shotgun and try to blast off his clo his chest. Like, I'll we'll see if there's something under his clothes on his chest. Okay. Yeah. Go ahead and blast it. How much is the damage on it? The damage on that is three. So you blast that, you're just like, ah, oh, you totally pull an aria, you know, just, just, and it like blasts straight up and it like kind of, it really does stumble him. 
and he kind of backs up and just can't. Ah! To the point where you kind of see little dents in that shielding of his. So it is doing something. Mm. Um, it is worry in him. You see worry on his face. Ooh. Cool. I want someone to roll me. Don, you roll me a uh, a sharp, just a sharp roll. Okay. Uh, seven plus two sharp is nine. Okay. Um, you look around you and you see the those three followers of yours. Now Josh and the other two are around you, and they noticed, you know, Sierra shooting their god in their face, and he stumbled. And they're just like, what? <laughs> How do you shoot a god? How do you harm a god? Uh, are they asking me? Because I have an answer. No, no. They just kind of like got, got this like. Gotcha. Yeah. Okay. Um, does... So, Riley, what are you doing? Okay. <laughs> I think I'm going to use. Your mic is off, dude. I'm going to use one of my moves. Um, don't worry, I'll go check it out. Whenever you go off by yourself to check out somewhere or something, scary mark experience. So I'm going to go and see if I can find a supply. That we okay, need. fantastic. You run towards the, the doors wide open. He, This is his island. This, these are his. He, he is, doesn't want to, he doesn't care if many people go inside this other than this is his own spot. This island, no one would dare go inside. So he leaves it wide open. You went inside, um, marked that experience. Inside the uh, actual um, lighthouse, this area is kind of like a sitting room. And you see some stairs heading, heading up to the next, next area. Um, Don, you notice those three. And you notice uh, Riley taking off. What do you do? I tell Josh and can we name our other two friends? <laughs> okay. You know what their names are. What are their names? Okay. Josh um, uh, Laban and Rex. Okay. So I tell Josh Laban and Rex, it is as I feared he is possessed and we must destroy uh, the bad spirits out of our god. Oh, okay, how, how? Okay, I have a, so Don is not a fighter, but he has weapons, and so I'm going to hand the revolver to one, the big knife to the other, and the baseball bat to the other. <laughs> okay. <laughs> <laughs> and just tell and, them to go attack? And uh, my plan is to lead the charge and maybe at the last minute, like, sneak away. All right. Or do something dawn like and, like, <sighs> lead, jump. It's stupid, but jump on him and maybe cause a diversion and then stumble out of the way and hope sissy can finish him off okay so you go ah, and they just kind of follow and like ah, to go attack their god fantastic sierra you see don come past you and just kind of ring around jonah's neck yeah. um and all these other ones going <laughs> one of them just kind of grabs the gun and has got it backwards and just hitting it with the butt <laughs> dang it rex um, but they're just there. You start slowly. Jonah's like, and grabs a hold of the two, not not Josh, on their faces, and you see just this like glow hit their hit their faces, and they just and crumple to the ground. Josh is behind Jonah's back, along with you, Don. You just saw this. You kind of got a wave of that, so you took one harm from that. Oh, okay. 
Okay, have I seen Trix do the same fireball light out of hands maneuver that Jonah has done or something similar? Uh, I don't know, probably not. Trix, what is it you're doing right now? I'm looking at all of this that is going on and I'm trying to like look deep inside of myself and try to see if I can do similar things that Jonah can do because Marie said that what Don is doing is similar to what Jonah can do. He can't do it. I'm doing it. So I'm assuming I can do the same things Jonah is doing. So I'm trying to think, like, figure out what exactly is it that I can do that is similar to Jonah. Okay. It's like, it's weird. It's just like, this is like this thin glow on all of his body. It's okay. something just the energy coming off of him. We don't have any more. Well, Jonah is preoccupied. The supplies yeah. are still inside the lighthouse, correct? Correct, yes. Can I run really, 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 really fast? He's distracted. You don't even have to run that fast. But yes. Great. To the lighthouse, takes a few of those supplies and try to, I guess, I don't want to say, well, I do want to say, uh, use what Jonah's doing, like, because he uses, I don't know if I can hit him with magic. I want to hit him with just, magic, but if I hit him with magic, I might need the little ball things to use magic. Because he has the same, you can hit him with the magic. same red energy. Just try to hit, hit him with magic. Hit him with magic. If I roll a three, I'm fighting both of you. <laughs> Fight your brother. <laughs> I rolled a seven, so you guys yeah! got lucky. <laughs> Huzzah. All right. Oh, and I get a plus two, so I rolled a, a nine. nine. Okay. So it works imperfectly. You get to choose your effect and a glitch. Where is said glitch located? Uh, they're on that same column, so you get to choose your, your effect. Um, and a glitch, and can I'll, I, I'll, yeah. Can I help and sort of try to, like I'm riding the wild bronco that is Jonah, and I would like to turn him so he gets hit full blast with whatever magic is coming at him. Can I roll for to help? Mm, hold on one second. Okay. We'll, we'll go from there. All right. Um, I'm just going to take one harm because out of all of them, that seems like the least irritating. Okay. Because I, I don't want any what, attention what, drawn to me. And then what, what, what uh, effect is it that you want to happen? What is the effect? <laughs> Huh. Ooh, I want to summon a monster into the world. All right. What monster do you want to summon into this world? Yeah, I don't know. Just a big old spirit that's going to fight Jonah. I'll let you think about he it. Just for a second. And we'll go he to Riley. Happy. So think about it for a second. We'll go back. We're going to go to Riley real quick. Uh, Riley, so you're inside. You see this is kind of just like a nice sitting area right here. And there are stairs and they kind of just like circle, circle the circle of the area of the lighthouse going to a second floor. What do you do? I go up to the second floor. Okay. Um, and it's like one of those like hatches. So, it is, and that's open. The second floor has just crates upon crates and they're just unmarked. And then there's another stairway go into the, and it's a smaller one going to the, to the third floor. Um, can I investigate and see what is being concealed here? Yeah. Okay. Oh my. I was a, that's a four. Okay. So you can pop open the crates and it's just a bunch of those leaves, except these are leaves that are just like out. They're not like bundled up like you. They were nice and nice and neat like the ones you were. They were just in. They're in bags marked ginkgo biloba and has like FDA markings on the side. Um, can I toss one of the crates over? Like, yeah, you. Yeah, it's just a normal crate, and you can just. No, like toss it to first floor. Like just. I mean, you can go. Yeah, you can kind of like. Yeah, you can okay. move it down there. People move. Yeah, they they move thing move it up here, just fine. Okay. Um, can I see anything into the next level? Like, is that where his quarters are? Yeah, you'd have to go up the stairs to get to the next one. 
Okay, I'll go up the, to the next level. Okay, on the next level, um, you see that the, the on the third level, you this one does it's latched, and you go inside, and in the third level is something that's extremely surprising to you, and it's just the junkiest bachelor pad. It's like the man caviest man cave that you can tell. Like it's like stinks like a man cave. Like on the TV is like how you know, are you smarter than a fifth grader? There's electronics, there's an arcade game, like any elect this is where all the, the technology is. There's a computer off to the side, like this is Jonah's actual living quarters. Um, are are there the same clothes that he is wearing, like more in his closet? Yeah, there, there's a closet area, there's a bed, and uh, just like it would be a loft area. Okay. But are there clothes in the closet like that are the similar to what he's wearing now? No, no. It just, it's uh, just all different types of clothes. They're all very, but, but they're very, the same kind of skin tight suit. It's like, okay. Like, you know, I, I can't remember what it's called, but it's like a jumpsuit, essentially. Um, I'm going to grab one of the suits and go back down to the next level. Okay. All right, Trix, uh, did you decide what monster do you want to summon? Well, since we are near the South Pole, <laughs> I will summon the spirit. <laughs> of the great, you are summon, summon the spirit of the great Gween. Yes. <laughs> that is exactly. <laughs> So we brought this full circle. circle. This was the penguin I was looking for. Yes, you, this is the penguin you were looking for. You you reach out hoping to, hoping to grab like this like monster spirit that will help it, but instead you just summon this giant like <laughs> emperor penguin that's like glowing and everyone can see it. And Jonah looks up and just starts booking it back to his uh <laughs> to his uh, lighthouse because what <laughs> what do you guys do uh riley are you out of the lighthouse no. nope she is not oh. she oh, is heading riley. back downstairs riley get out of the lighthouse because you know you know the big old penguin about to go to the lighthouse riley <laughs> sierra sierra what are you doing you know what if he's gonna turn and run i'm, I'm gonna blast him okay your His back goes to me. That's why I shot him. All right, go ahead and shoot. Okay, here we go. That's two D twenty, right? Yeah, yeah, two D twenty. Yep. Oh, what's, what's the damage on it? It's three. Three. Okay. Uh, you you do three damage. You know, you, it just kind of stumbles him as well. You also take one damage, uh, Don, because you're still on his back. Oh, <laughs> shoot. <laughs> but he's he's far enough away, and he's like running really fast. So that's that shotgun scattered out a little bit. So you take that one damage as well. Um, All right. And I'll he, scream and something about sissy always trying to like hurt me, and like you should aim better, something along those lines. But you're, um, you got, I, you got, oh, oh, Josh is like, yeah. ah, just kind of running after you as well. Uh, you right. guys get to the I, door. Riley, after I get hurt, can I let go or no? Yeah, 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 you can, yeah, you can let go. Okay, I'll let go. I am hurt, but also very into the giant penguin. <laughs> you're very into the giant penguin? All right. You know, whatever floats your boat. <laughs> Riley, uh, you're, you're heading down the stairs. What are you doing? Um, so I'm going to um, quickly stuff some leaves inside the suit and run. Okay. Out towards outside. So, you got, so you're coming down the stairs and you suddenly oh, see... slide down the rail? Yeah, you totally slide down the rail. <laughs> and you get down to the bottom there on the first floor and here's Jonah. Coming in through the doorway and just kind of... <sighs> I hate penguins. <laughs> <laughs> Who the hell are you? <laughs> um, so I have my, I have my handgun. Okay. Um, it's a Glock, so it's a 
to harm. Okay, so you just like wild shot him. Yep, I just start firing. Fantastic. <laughs> he takes two harm, and then you initially you see that shielding around that it's just kind of flickering on him, and he takes that and it's gone from him. And you see just some blood on that white that white suit that he has on his arm, and he's just Ha! Ah, what the hell? Like his it is like that that draw that he had just now is just kind of gone and it's just very yeah you know very country now you know i don't know i don't don't know the accents (laughs) and he just like pushes past you and he starts running running up the stairs okay well i i i go out (laughs) please go out you go you outside the door i go outside (laughs) (laughs) all right and he's just like "Ah, ah, ah," blood's dripping everywhere and he slams the door down Um, um, I go outside. Do I do where? Where are all y'all at? <laughs> How do I get to? I think everybody is outside. You yep, know where I'm located. Yeah. I feel like I'm doing like an avatar. Don, Don, you and Riley are just at the fr- yeah, at, at the door, basically. Trix and and Sierra are still up on the path with the with the giant penguin. The giant, <laughs> yeah, the spirit of the Gwyn. Spirit of the Gwyn. I'm gonna write that. <laughs> Spirit of the Gwyn, because it's going to come into the game later on. Can I please do like a Avatar season one where I'm inside of the Spirit of the Gwyn? Sure, we're gonna do that. You're actually now. That's why you took took some harm along with it, because your body's now being taken over by the Spirit of the Gwyn. That's awesome. Cool. So you're so everybody you're, is out. You're like. <laughs> you know, just not, not really sure over. if you know what's going on. All you know is that you're wanting to attack the lighthouse. What do you do? Knock it over, I'm tracks. attacking the daggum lighthouse. Everybody is out of the lighthouse, correct? Who needs to be out of the yep. lighthouse? Sure, if if that's what we're, I think so. You start seeing Riley and Don. They're just like down below, and you just. Yeah, we're smashing through. No, oh, you're smashing the lighthouse. Okay, you, you guys, move. please move out of the way. I don't want to kill you. Got you got this like giant, you giant penguin body, and you're just like, <laughs> you back up and you do that penguin slide. <laughs> <laughs> you, and you stand up, and it's just like knocking. And you see Jonah there at the top, and he's like, you do it now right and he like backs up again you back up again and just penguin side again <laughs> it starts crumbling and coming down um so what do you do you've knocked down this knocked down this lighthouse with jonah in it grenade it <laughs> <laughs> well i'm waiting for him to stand up or something just uh, grenade it. <laughs> you wanna, do you want to investigate the area? <laughs> I guess that's a good idea. Yeah, we can, do that. It, it, can, we, can we just have the penguin just smash? And then if Jonah is not finished, can we just finish him by finding him through the rubble? and? <laughs> 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 well there is a there is a specific way this is going to end gotcha it's a, oh man what's the triggered event <sighs> yeah pretty somebody much somebody roll something so, does yeah. anybody have a luck left no there, it's okay the, the reason it's a, it's a triggered event is just because it, it's going to continue on in the finale is why gotcha okay well I'm gonna okay. smash the lighthouse to rubble <laughs> okay. so you're just like bruh, bruh. <laughs> you know, you're, you're going at it because you you just don't understand what the hell's going on anymore. Off to the side, you don't notice Jonah had fallen into the kind of the, the ocean, and he's kind of crawling, crawling out. And he sees the giant penguin smashing his lighthouse. You guys do notice Jonah, and so what do you do? Have I asked here? Like, have we fulfilled the contract, or do we have to? Is this taking care of him? We've dethroned him. Can I want some grenade down there? 
Huh? Yeah. Uh, launch a grenade, grenade down on his little melon. <laughs> He's on his little melon. <laughs> I mean, you could. Yeah. I think we're past talking now. I mean, you did lock knock down his lighthouse, so yeah, you could. All right, uh, that's you know. Just, uh, and just it just you totally annihilate, uh, and it just like lands, and you just see just body parts splattered everywhere. Woo-hoo! One thing you do notice though is just this like red glowing blood red glow and it's one thing you notice it just knocks you out of the 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 spirit of Gwyn you just suddenly fall to the ground this globe creates this weird like almost portal and it is it's red the same kind of red that you were noticing and everything and this kind of huge body kind of emerges from these little pieces they just kind of you know just kind of floats out of all the pieces of what used to be Jonah some weird demonic sounds come out of this thing and it just kind of floats into the portal oh well dang so the trigger on this is that Part of the uh, the whole thing was that we could have up to like two people per game to move on to the finale, to the point where the people who could go on could will go on to the game, and the other people would have to, who couldn't go on to the game would have to hold the portal open essentially. That's what the trigger is. Okay. Gotcha. So, um, so it, it is. Right. A, we are at the end. You guys decimated Jonah. <laughs> Totally negating all the all, all the all the cult leader training that I uh, had to go through in the last two weeks. Which, by the way, thank you. <laughs> I watched so many goddamn documentaries. <laughs> on cult cult work. People up. Gotta, I, you it really was my biggest sources. worry. Was I was just like, how do I do this? Because like, so many cult leaders have just a like a very weird kind of creepy rapey just thing to him and i'm like i don't uh how do i do this that one dude from tiger king well what well, I, mm. I, that's i refuse to watch that there's <laughs> a dude on there it's 100 percent. he's a cult leader yep yeah it's, yep. It's exactly he, he fits the he type is. Yeah. yeah, fits but, it perfectly, and it's disturbing. But once we figured like, out oh, people no, were getting no. sacrificed, it was like, nope, <laughs> this dude's got to die. <laughs> <laughs> we ain't talking. We ain't talking to him. Hey, it works for me. Hey, it worked for me. I, yeah, I, I just had to suffer through all those documentaries, and I'm I'm fine with it. Maybe next time yeah. I have to run this, I'll use it. But I'm fine with it. So, so, um, so Don, our game, Don our game will tomorrow. volunteer. Don will volunteer to hold the portal and not move on to into the portal. Okay. Yeah. Really will also volunteer. Okay. So the game is tomorrow at 4, uh, 4 p.m. Mountain Standard Time, um, which would be 6 on the East Coast. So, so you want to you play <laughs> oh, a Oh, wait. Oh, I just thought of things. I should be able to. Okay. I should. <laughs> That's fine. I, we can hold you hold the space. Don't worry about it. I mean, it's not like it's a. I mean, if you don't want to do it, don't worry about it. Just let me know. Okay, I, I might have things I have to do, which is why I said should. Yeah. In let, very much yeah. Just question. let just let me know by by half an hour ahead of time, because um, then I can at, at the very least we can fill in some people who played before, um, and they'll we don't have to go through because we're, we're not going to go through the whole. Here's how to play. It's going to essentially just get going on the on the story. So. <laughs> David, what about you? Great to bless. <laughs> Maybe it'll be with people who, you know, won't continuously like to bring out grenades every five seconds. Hey, hey, you know, <laughs> here's the thing. I've had some great, great, great games with people who wanted to investigate everything and some people who wanted to just go, you know what, let's just 
let's just blow things up. Well, what about if you want to use magic to cure this person? Nah, just throw them in the incinerator. Uh, okay. All right, that works. <laughs> I mean, that solves the problem too, but... Uh, just roast them. Just roast them. Yeah. So, I mean, lots of different solutions. This is not where I thought you guys would go. I did not expect the spirit of a penguin, giant penguin, to, uh, to make an appearance. So, which is one, <laughs> this is one of my favorite things about Mount Monster of the Week. It just... <laughs> So what you're saying that this is our group's legacy for your game. Every every this, group has a legacy. The spirit of the Gwen. Yes. Yeah, the, the spirit, spirit of, of the Gwen. Gwen. In fact, it will be it will be something I bring up with with Brent, and it might it might end up in the finale. Yes. Nice. <laughs> David, what about you? I don't know yet. All right. Just yeah. Just let me know. Okay, well, um, then we're gonna we're gonna just like you know screen wipe this essentially. Um, so Riley and Don, you guys, um, you know, you decide you're you're gonna hold on to the hold on to the portal so that way because your tricks you're sensing something that the uh, the spirit told you to move on to <laughs> told you to move on, um, but it said that something's off on the other side there is something not weird. And if you don't have a way back, you won't ever find your way back. That's fun. Yeah. Same thing with you, Sierra, and you are, you know, whatever, it, it, the same thing. So these two are gonna hold the, hold the portal open while you uh, and go and investigate what the hell that was that Take is causing all this. Take the weed with you. Take the weed with you. Oh yes, the magic weed. You had destroyed it all. The, the penguin no. did. Riley took some in the suit. Oh, that's suit. right. Riley did take some with the suit. All right. Riley, Riley has some in the suit. So yeah. have him take the weed. The weed and the suit have been passed along to Trace. <laughs> All right. Okay. All right. And that's where we're going to end then. So awesome. Roberto, thank you so, thank much. You so much. Thank yeah. you. Yeah. Thank All right. You. Thanks, guys. Thank Sorry you. that went good so night, late. But have a good night. Bye. Bye-bye. <laughs>